Hello, hey, hello, hello. Salut. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are on planet Earth. Uh, this is West Coast Big Rob. Welcome to another Saturday morning toy box where we discuss uh, this week's solicitations, pre orders, and uh, sales on national figures, toy collectible statues, etc. It's true. I'm West Coast, Rebecca, West Coast Big Rob on IG, and I'm with. Yo, this is Jeff at Geek Driven. Jeff. Uh, just here for another Saturday morning toy box. <laughs> uh, no, nothing cool to say, so I'm going to pass it on to Steve. That was good cool morning. Enough. Good morning. Happy Saturday, cool. y'all. It's your boy Steve, a.k.a. Hip Hop's in me, underscore comics, underscore collectibles. And I'm ready to talk toys, man. I got some breakfast, some breakfast, and um, I'm, I'm amped on a matcha. So I'm ready to rock and roll. Charlie, how are you doing, my brother? What's up, guys? Toys. I'm Carlos Charlie from Reba Robot here with the team Nerd Hurt on the Nearing Nirvana channel. Got to be here every, I mean, every Saturday. This is pretty much, this is my my news here. I mean, I don't watch really world news that much anymore. This is my news, my Fuck collectible news, seeing what's out there. And I, we, we cover a lot of stuff, so it's it's, it's sure good to be on do. here. It's good that everybody's watching us, so check it out, and let's see what we could do. Back to Big Kelly Rob here. You already, you already went right, Steve? Oh yeah, I did. I I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. dished it up to to Toy Jesus. I, uh, I, I dished it up my prayers to Toy Jesus. He did he did the layup, and I was like, Pfft. yeah, he slammed it Lord like save me, save me, please. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, so <laughs> and I'm right on top of you too, like looking down on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, dude, well, I, I feel blessed. <laughs> uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful show today. A uh, lot of stuff going on, and the. Toy world, uh, we got a bunch of pickups for our toy comic book, whatever collectible mail call. But uh, before we do all that, Steve, you want to hit the uh, our sponsor? Oh, most definitely, I do. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start it off. You guys already know if you use Nirvana 14 for 30 days of unlimited cover price at only 99 cents, it'll save you guys the trouble, the time, and the effort, guys. At 99 cents, that's a steal. 30 days, that's even a, best, a better steal, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're on um, Comic Book Women, if you are on their show on Tuesdays and you're looking at their market report, we utilize cover price. So that is a tool mm -hmm. that we stand by. Also, if you're using the tool, you get to put your collection in. You get to see where the market is trending. Hey, these weeks in comics, you never know. You might have to pick that Ultimate Spider-Man or Ultimate Black Panther or the Star Wars High Republic that was just coming out this Wednesday, guys. I don't know if you know. But certain comic book shops only got certain prints amount, and uh, I, really? mine was one of them. Yeah, mine was one of them, dude. What? They they took me, they took it off my pull, and I emailed them and I said, "Hey, uh, you guys aren't gonna jerk me around and tell me that I have to pay a little extra for that book." They're like, "No, there there, there was something going on with the printing." So High Republic, um, really? Yeah, the regular one, issue five. Yeah, the one that just came out this Wednesday. But yeah, you would have known that if you would have used cover price. <laughs> that was not scripted, y'all. That was not scripted. Because <laughs> I order all the covers, always for High Republic. So. Oh, yeah, you got it. You got it. Even the bad ones, you know? <laughs> that was not on the, on the teleprompt. Yeah, dude. <laughs> all right, all right. Right now, Big Rob's sending a private chat like, you mother F. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> then, uh, oh, Bird City, our friends at Bird City, guys, they're <laughs> always dishing out some excellent covers. If you guys went two weeks back and you checked the rewind, there would have been the Crave um that crave homage in black that version and then last week it was venom or not venom it was ghost rider and then this week was pharaoh so guess what you want to hit get you some 10 percent off tnh 10 will save you 10 percent off of your order at our friends at bird city you spend 100 to get free shipping not only do they have comic books but they also have action figures for us toy guys so gotta love it yeah hell yeah and then we're all toy collectors here at Toy Box. I mean, we stand firmly by collecting toys. I mean, for God's sakes, if you look at Jeff's wonderful display case, this guy has. <laughs> like, please don't turn on the is, camera. Right, look at Charlie. Look at Charlie. Look at Big Rob. Look at myself. We all love toys, guys. So you use Team Nerd Hurt. It'll save you ten percent off of your first purchase at our friends at Display Geek. Our brother Sean um, is also a toy collector, growing his business. Um, if you guys need pop protectors, if you guys are wondering. What pop protector is going to fit this big bad boy? Guess what? He got a beta system that'll point you in the right direction. He, oh, look at that. Cups, coffees, you know, action figure holders. <laughs> the man's doing it. 
So big things, big things. And then shout out to our moderator, Brother Rudy, who I do see in here. Good morning. Good at you. And our SoCal brethren, Brother Rudy, uh, blue wrenching it everywhere in these chats. Great supporter, always supporting. So you support him, follow him on his page, give him some love and uh, do the damn thing, you know? Oh, you're setting up the mood, Jeff, putting that couch on deck. And then our resident Woo! DJ Beats by Munster. Um, you already know our brother Eddie is also a collector. Go ahead and follow his page. He has some primo beats, man. He's always working, always a DJ ever since I've known him, man. And for him to be able to put production together and kind of put the pieces to the puzzle, seeing him kind of like, like this magician come up with a beat in like five minutes makes me scratch my head. So go mm -hmm. ahead and follow his page as well. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get in this chat, brother. Let's get in this chat. GT Key Comics with the Key Comic Community. Always first, never last. Brother, mm -hmm. what's going on? Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to give you a thumbs up, and I'm going to give you a wave just like you did us, and uh, a salute to you. So much love, much love. And look at this. Look at this, man. Brother Rudy is in the building. Rudy. Again, also a toy collector, also a primo collector of comics. Been in this game for a while, so go ahead and follow his page. He says, great Saturday to y'all. Great Saturday to you, buddy. Hey, great Saturday to you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then comics are great. CRG is in the building. He said, good afternoon, Team Nerdhood. Good afternoon to you. It's cloudy over here, too, my brother. We had some rain. I got a free car wash, you know, on my car. <laughs> Nature's got, car wash? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, knock that spring out of uh, that spring out of uh, cl those clinging pollen. Oh, God, car, yeah. I was like, yeah, dude, my car looks like dirty stuff. Right uh, you know what? I'm gonna set the mood, and I'm gonna put some uh, a little a little music in the background as we uh, get on this wonderful jo joining Ooh, nice. of Toy Talk. So, set Big Rob, mood, I'm gonna man. dish this back to you. Put some very wide. Uh, you know, let's let's talk about it. Let's be about it. And let's talk about it. That's what Steve does when he brings his day over at home. He puts the music on and get the toys. Like, when I'm opening my yeah, dude, I'm like, <laughs> hey, uh, he let puts me on the very white. What you see is what you get. Let's open some toys. <laughs> what you see? Yeah. What you see? What you get? Yeah. I'm all playing with the toys. And me. What you see? That's what you get. That's a good one. That's just me. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to startle it. Oh, wait a minute. We're not doing our presentation first. Are we? Oh, oh okay. All right. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, who wants to go first? I'll go Jeff, first. You got nothing? I have nothing. Charlie, you got something? Yeah, man. I got something. Um, I mean, actually, you know what? I I got some of the some Gundam figures too. Ever since we saw that one with the green, what's it called? That green uh, fire. Remember the one we showed that? that two weeks oh ago? yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, dude. I was like, you know what, dude? I want to see what's online. And I found oh. this guy here, dude. Dang, that is sick. This is uh, this is called the Ar uh, Archangel um Archangel series that came out like in two thousand and four. You didn't get that one around, That's for sure. Yeah, dude. What I what I like about it is the articulate wings, dude. How it articulates there. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, like, yeah. Dude, we've got two insane. lightsabers. He also has a uh, two mobile big machine guns. But to snap his hands, it like it takes a lot of force, and I, I'm afraid that I'm going to take his arm off. So I just put two lightsabers. I figure lightsabers are better than guns, right? Maybe depending 100%, on who you are. Man. That means business. <laughs> I love it's it. Extra, I like, what's up? I was going to say it. It takes uh, extra. Um, skills to wield two lightsabers and two you got it up. buddy very true very true mm -hmm. so yeah and, and just i love the wings they're so articulate so i figured you know what i want to you know i had to get this guy so pretty dope man it's pretty cool takes up a lot of wingspan and space and also when i was on there dude i saw this like old it's called um this is like an old 90s uh 90s toy it's called a uh, gundam shining dude it's, it's just an old kind of old thing Mm -hmm. And the thing is, like, a lot of stuff pop, pops out of it. And for what it is, I thought it was pretty cool. I got it for, like, 25. I'm like, you know what? I'll get it, dude. It's, it's pretty dope. So, That's a steal. So, yeah. That's a like, win where I come from. <laughs> right? So, like, you know what? I'll take that. And also, I had to get this, dude. This freaking this game, Dragon's Dogma 2. I don't know if you guys heard about it. Dragon's Dogma 1 was a huge hit made by Capcom. It's like a it's RPG. Well, I want to say action RPG. It's kind of like um, playing a little bit of like Lord of the Rings type of uh, lore type to it, that type of fantasy. It's really dope, dude. So I've got that. And 
I also got this. I don't know if you guys heard of uh, Wiz Yakuza. Yeah. Right? Well, um, since I got a Mega Man statue, which I haven't posted anything on yet, I'll try to finish the video. I just got the video finished last night. I'm about to post it today. But um, I had to get this, this uh, Fighting Mega Man poster. Mega Man X. Yeah. So I want to put him by the statue. I'll take a picture and, I, and, I, and I'll post it. But also, he's, he's coming to WonderCon, too, supposedly. So uh, he, goes to the, he goes to all the major cons. Yeah, so um, I, does he do signatures? Even though this is this is already kind of digitally signature or signed, I wonder if he does it like any other signatures. I don't know if you guys know that or know anything about that. Yeah, he probably would. He'd just give you all a weird look at you, but he'll do it, bro. He'll be like, well, it's already digitally signed, so, but... Yeah, I thought this was a really cool piece looking at it. So I was like, you know what? I'll put it by my statue over here. I'll take pictures and I'll post it later. So check that out. But yeah, that's that what uh, Arjun is. Yeah. Who's next? Uh, Steve. Want to go next? Or should uh, I, I, yeah. I think he's got to set up. I had to get it set up, my brother. My bad. I was listening in, dude. I have, I have it on the other side, too, uh, Charlie. That was some good pickups, brother. Thanks, buddy. And I don't want to steal Big Rob's thunder or anything like that. So I feel bad because we all got the same thing. We all got the same thing. Go ahead. Uh, first I got plenty of shit. Don't worry about it. I, I, I want to see it. So first and foremost, just a little shameless plug, guys. Uh, uh, I will be posting something very soon, but I got this shirt right here uh, from Atsuka. I signed up to an ambassador program. Atsuka. So I got, yeah, Atsuka. So I got uh, 25% off if you anime me. 25 get you 25 percent off of these dope ass shirts man they got hoodies they got sweats and um i picked a demon slayer one but i also got uh naruto as well naruto shapuden got a rock lee master uh, genius of hard work so um be on the lookout i'll be posting that up i definitely want to spread that code out so if you guys are a fan anime uh, anime if you're an anime lover and you're an anime fan got something for you guys so i just want to give back Hey, bro, what is Snake is doing the snow job? Is he giving him a snow job? He is, right? Like, uh, oh, dang, Snake Eyes is right behind him, right? He's like, hey. A snow job, is that what he said? Yeah, uh, he's like, you feel that? <laughs> hey, 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 that's not how I'm supposed to use your sword. Yeah, right? He's like, <laughs> why am I being stabbed? <laughs> he's double sword, too. Yeah, dude. My bad. Um, yeah, but they're just chilling, dude. They're 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 yeah, watching they're uh, what's going on, you know? <laughs> they're opposing... Uh, so the opposing side of Cobra, they're basically yeah. they're definitely opposing. They are. Uh, I know Big Rob. Big Rob went this weekend, picked or last weekend picked his up, but I got mine in the mail. So if you're That's a fan cool. of uh, some Golden Age, uh, look, man, I had to, I had to get this too, man. I saw that on the site as soon as uh, Big Rob pulled it up. I was like, you know what, man, I'm gonna order that sucker right now. Super That's Seven awesome. apparel, man, I love it. I, I could <laughs> I could wear it all day long. Um, their t-shirts are just very, uh, innov like they're innovative, you know, like they're creative. They always do some good things with it. So I love doing a, a bunch of us didn't hesitate. We immediately got that shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we, we didn't even think twice. I even, even uh time traveling nomad hit it up too. Too, yeah, It yeah. was like, God damn. Um, let's see. Once, fast, once again, fast. if anybody can provide some consultation on how I can configure my controller to play spy hunter arcade on my uh, i remember i was supposed to i was actually looking into this dude uh gt key i think i could uh contact you through instagram right yeah i think so but, uh, yeah I, I should i think i, I have you on instagram so hit me up me... anthony I'll, I'll i'll give you the code i'll give you the site if you would like to buy a shirt D shout out to dz comics and spec is in the building he said morning y'all what's going on good to see you good to see you bro brother all right um let's go ahead and keep it going we're showing comic books too or not whatever you want bro it's up to you it's your time all right man i got these uh gabriel delato uh i'm a fan of gabriel delato man spectrum uh did these, oh you got them already huh? oh yeah dude these dope ass went right uh, today yeah dude these dope ass covers i think gabriel delato uh, is one of my favorite artists um uh, there's uh, so many more people that i love that, that do like specific art but these the transformers nice. haven't come in yet right yeah not yet no okay. no no these came out great. These came out beautifully. Um, I was able to pick up my pull as well. Um, I haven't done all month, for that. dude. I, 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 I'm, I'm starting to narrow it down to a science where I'm getting down 
like after this i have five books this time around Ooh, i'll be I'll, I'll have uh five no five books in my pull this time around after those three will fall off i'll have a total of 11 books on my pull I want to get down to where I'm just only buying what I'm reading. You know. What See, I mean? my problem is I, I have like ten titles I fuck with, but yeah. I have like multiple variants for all the titles. Yeah, dude, that's the thing that kills you. I got uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle new storyline. Uh, they're gonna finish at 150, so um, they're kind of just uh, adding it, this it, into there. No, yeah, 150. <laughs> this is uh, the undes uh, untold what's destiny what's of the Foot Clan, so this should be good. Uh, you got you got to love uh, Cobra Commander. Oh, hell yeah. awesome! Yeah, did you see the FOC Josh one? Williamson. I, I dig it. The closing of Blood Tenement or the uh, Tenement. This series is dope. If you guys like horror, um, this series was That's excellent. Cool Jeff Lemire and mm -hmm. um, Andrea uh, Sorrentini, Dave Stewart. It's Sorrentini. like a match made in heaven. Huh? Mm -hmm. Sorrentino. And then uh, again, High Republic issue five. This was. Uh, very limited from what i understand i mean the my comic book store said that um i guess there was damages or whatnot or something i mean i could be wrong but uh, for me to not to get it knocked off my pull and then worried that i wasn't gonna get the book i was like don't tell me that there's a special thing about this book that's going on and they're gonna kind of fill and flam me but the answer to that flam flam. Mm -hmm. i didn't want to get yeah, I, like get, I get the a and b on the one on the 125 i think yeah i know you do you're you're hooked um Shout out to Toyco, my my brother Andrew. Uh, usually, I'll buy toys from him, Big Bad Toy Store, Ami Ami. But I've known this guy forever. Mm -hmm. I see him at San Diego Comic Con all the time, so I support his business. Um, I got uh, Chung Lee, the second outfit. Oh, you got the Ace Ace figure, that's right. Yeah, this is sick, dude. I opened it up. I was playing with it, um, posing it, and everything. She, she's smooth as butter, and she's hot. So smooth as butter as her butt. Smooth as butter. I don't get mine until I think like May or April. I think oh, I think you May. Ordered, you ordered it too, huh? Okay. From Inti I ordered that in the Ryu from Intimate Earth. Oh, okay. Well, free shipping for them. All right. So um, I'm not sure if you guys have like been looking at news in the community, but CCG purchased uh, JSA uh, collectibles. Um, yes, you would, know, you would know that if you watched Wednesday's show, sir. Yeah, I wasn't available Wednesday, but I have to get you. Sorry. All right. Um, it was so, the first, first thing we talked about, but yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. All right. All right. In 2000, um, in 2006, I went to go see Stan Lee at uh, Frankincense. If you're in California, Southern California, I highly recommend to visit that place. Yeah. Tons of stuff. Oh, yeah. you, it's a great day to go out and then go out and eat. And after that, but I had the opportunity to meet Stan Lee. And I had him sign this pop on a, on a gold signature. Oh, that's sick, dude. Yeah. Uh, it, for those that are not familiar, Excelsior is no longer available. So if you got a certificate of authenticity, you lost it. They finally like, closed them? A while back. There's Thank really no, there's no way to bastards. get. I know. There, there's no way to get a certificate. So you're pretty much screwed um, if you were trying to validate it. But I did get a JSA. I went double, you know, double trouble. And there... On their site they track it so i was i've been wanting to sell this because i i've been collecting pops for a long time for, so, and i kind of turned the page on that uh so you a lot of the you didn't, stuff you didn't get this? i still yeah the certificate oh yeah I, I i have i don't know where it's at i'm pretty <clears throat> it's in a magazine that i have i gotta dig through my closet and and i think i might have threw it away when i was kind of doing some spring cleaning maybe i threw the magazine away and it was in between there so eventually i want to sell this i mean this is this is about a thousand units to chase glow in the dark Wait, uh, pretty how, rare how, how, crazy. Good, how good of a condition is the box it's minty you might I don't know man you want to sell it graded yeah maybe but i don't want to send it and get it banged up or anything but i got the letter the letter of uh i, I paid jsa yeah, 25 bucks for the letter because i didn't have the certificate that it was originally given to me Dude, I did JSA also gives you one too. You know, PSA is in Orange County, right? Yeah. You can do a a, a walk in and drop it off. Thank you for that. Oh, really? The, They're in Orange County. Oh shit! I yeah, want thanks for the thanks for the education on that, Jeff. Oh, that's sick. I Hell yeah! It. Next time, oh, yeah, get laminated. Yeah, man. So uh, eventually, I want to get, get kind of sell this. Um, I don't know. I mean, I just the the money that that this where the pops at right now. I'm like, yeah, I could probably use that. 
Um, but do you really need the money? Could use it probably. You know, there's... how much is it? Like a grand? Two oh, grand? Sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred. As if you got it graded though. True. True. Yeah, I might have. To. That'd be sick. I have to take that. Take I'm, I'm going to get my Kobe graded. Okay. I, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying because that's such Kobe. a beautiful piece. That's such a beautiful piece, and it's a Spider Man, and it's on the stand. Yeah, that's hard to let go. It, it, it is hard. It is, it is hard. But you know, like you, you guys know my situation. You know, like I have a loved one that. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. That those we'll show. I need to. One hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. For her, I'll do anything. So. Oh, of course, man. Of course. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I got these in um, from uh, Hasbro. Oh, yeah, these just came in. Those, Those are, are Diver cool. Recon. These are really cool, man. They're smooth, smooth as smooth as butter. Uh, they're improving on like uh, the joint systems and everything like that. I truly can so dope, dude. say that I love I'm like, hooked on these yeah. on GI Joe. Right now, Hasbro pulls between GI Joe and, Mar and Marvel Legends. I got great. Yo, me too. Let me just tell you, I didn't like it either. I was just like, ow, ow. Ow, ow. It sucked. It, it, like, dude, my card just kept. I just kept getting emails. Oh yeah, dude, they shipped all the Marvel Legends, all the Joe's. <laughs> all so like, here you go. You wanted them? We'll give them to you. Yeah. I'm like, that's one of my pet peeves with that. It's like if you say it's gonna come around this time, make sure it comes around that time. Yeah, yeah don't it. make it come earlier because it's like, damn, y'all like. But we need that money now. Yeah. Well, yo, shout out to our chemist, man. Man, Arsenio, what's Yo, going on, brother? Our oh, how's it going, man, buddy? Ninja, the beheader. Binja is Ninja in the Ninja. building. Gina and Ninja uh, are the best. Uh, speaking of, like, let me just kind of put a pin in this in this mail call. Um, Sheena uh, had a family member that recently um, passed away, so she has a, a GoFundMe. Um, oh, if you go to okay. Ninja's page, Ninja's uh, Instagram page, you can pull that up. Family's always first. You guys, yeah. uh, very, very, time is very sparingly for us. So if mm -hmm. you can help uh, someone in need, definitely do so. I mean, I love Sheena. She's a supporter to the community. She's just a great person. I've been able to meet her personally when I first met her. She has a hug like that'll take you in uh, genuinely. And uh, it's just, she's a great person. And to see her and her family down. Uh, and, and hurting at this moment kind of hurts my, it hurts me. It hurts my soul. Uh, mm -hmm. And I just want to be able to help her out. So if you guys are following Inja, uh, if you guys are watching this on the Rewind, please uh, go to Inja's uh, Instagram page. Please, uh, if you guys can, support and give. Definitely give so. You know, like, uh, you never know when it can happen to you. And you never yeah. know uh, when you might need that help. Everybody needs a helping hand. And during these sad times, we all need to be uplifting and uplifting other people. So that's true just that, true what that. I want to kind of get off my chest. Um, last but certainly not least is oh, yeah. Yeah. Open, 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 triumphant, triumphant Beast. That's I got sick. the vamp. Uh, vamp. This is sick, dude. G.I. Joe killed it with this. Vamp um, like that. I think it's clean, man. It's sold out. You can't even buy it. It's, it's about 100 bucks. Perfect price point if you ask me for G.I. Joe. I've seen videos of customizers already customizing it, trying oh, to make more good. space in it. Um, I've seen Gridiron Studios uh, build a roll cage for it with a chassis mm -hmm. um, that you can kind of upgrade your vamp. And for me, I love third-party uh, third party creators. I love to support third-party creators. Um, they have a dream too, you know, so to be able to support them, to be able to kind of invest in their business model. Mm -hmm. um, to me, it's like it's just the individuality of your toys and your collection speaks volumes. And I mean, just it just makes it better. But this bad boy is sick. I, I am that's awesome, bro. I know you're hammered by this thing. Um, I love G.I. Joe. It's probably one of my main lines, like the domestic lines that I collect. Anything imported would know that like Mayfex Medicom is probably the second, you know, uh, thing I invest in. But that's that's pretty much it for me, man. Um, uh, Inja. If you came in late and uh, late late and you're still here, I just want to let you know, uh, Itsuka, I am an ambassador to the Itsuka brand. And uh, if you use Animami 25, you get 25% off Ooh. of any of their shirts, hoodies, sweats. Anybody catching the rewind, look them up. Uh, I'll, I will put it in the in the chat in case you guys want to check their uh, site out. 
and uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, if it's something that you guys like, you know, hit use anime 25, anime me 25, and it'll, it'll hook you up. So that's it for me. Uh, let me take myself off of this and bring, bring big Rob up in the building. Awesome pickups, man. Awesome pickups. Oh, thank you, my brother. Thank you. You had some awesome pickups too. I was looking at this like, damn, dude, we got, we, we, we we're some poor ass mofos right now. <laughs> Spending some money. <laughs> um, first of all, I want to say what's up to Artemis, and I love your um, uh, your avatar picture there. Your Thanos. Oh yeah, Infinity. Right. All right. Uh, so should I start? We'll start with the smaller, simplest one. I just literally got this last night. I don't think I don't think I have it. I don't have my Hot Wheels. I don't know about they're in a box, so I think I don't have this, but. This is the one from Batman and Superman, uh, the Batmobile. Ah, okay. Batman vs. Superman. That's yeah. sick. There you go. So I, I don't think I have it. I always got those. Um, I got the t-shirt, same as Steve, but I also got the the action figure that goes with it. Ooh, looks nice. Oh, nice. Chamber of Chills. Yeah, I got those. I just got this one. I just, I just thought I should get this. Mine are sure. the stories of terror. So, I got that from someone. I was Super Seven last weekend. Cool, cool. So real quick, got the shirt and the figure. I, you know, do walking in there. They have everything. They're like well stocked. They don't. It's not like the old days where everything's just like sold out and shit. So I was like, damn man, I would love everything. Everything in person, like the Simpsons figures in person. They're dope, right? Oh my god, they're so much better. They're I think they're like the best figures in the whole Ultimates line, to be honest. Because I've seen all the hip hop ones, all the Thundercats, the Transformer, everything. I think the Simpsons ones are the best ones, to be honest. Uh, I saw the uh, was it the um, the Grimlock? That shit's massive. The Ultimate Grimlock. It's oh my a God. massive figure, and it's regular price. It's like fifty five dollars. So that's Lord. crazy. Uh, okay, I also got this. I think that's I got this on Monday. It's early on. I I lost track. I of what the fuck I got. There was a lot of shit coming this week. I, I, I'm pretty sure I got everything here. Uh, this is the, the Matt, cartoon Man of Arms, uh, the cartoon okay. edition from Man of Arms uh, Origins. Uh, Origins uh, Animation, right? Origins Animation, I think? Yeah, I think they call them um, Motu Origins Cartoon. Cartoon? Oh, Cartoon Animation. Cartoon, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I think it's, cause I think it's his cartoon. It, uh, it kind of looked like Ultimates for a second, dude. It kind of threw me off. Uh, yeah, it's it's Origins body, but it's just totally painted and... Mm -hmm. uh, the face sculpt is uh animation for sure right right it's uh, they're nice they feel nice uh really solid figures they stand up well uh for the for the money you pay for them i think they're pretty good figures they're not like the retro ones where like the the legs are all flimsy <laughs> remember yeah because they use the fucking outdated technology the, the one yeah. like, all right uh their legs ain't twackle I just posted this morning. Morning, and I, I with the actual cards. I took them apart, but so they're already the cards are already in the trash. And here's the action. They got the whole wave two of uh, X Men '97. Uh, oh, so cool. now, now this this card this figure makes sense after watching the second episode. <laughs> so, dude, this series is sick. For those two episodes I watched, I, I went backwards. I and it Pretty forced me man. to go back and rewatch it. So I love it. it. Executioner. Uh, she appeared at the end of episode two. They don't say who it was, but it's the Goblin Queen. Which that's cool. the, you you uh, sure that's when she showed up? Well, we'll see. Mm -hmm, right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, don't be a smart ass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so there's Goblin Queen. She looks great. A uh, great action figure. The cape's cool. Yeah. A cheap ass effects, though. It's like re retrace from Doctor Strange, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Goblin Queen came in. Oh, stand up, bitch. Uh, Nick Needle, the the good guy version. He's pretty dope, man. He they really portray the character. It makes sense how they portrayed him as a sim, someone sort of being a good guy. Yeah. So it was cool. And this character, all these like characters. It? Now that I watch the show, I feel more significant, and they have more like a reference to what and it is. So when like I got his lipstick? Him, you like his lipstick in the show? Like I said, don't be a smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> um so they I, I have more because when I got them before I before I watched the show, I was like, okay, cool, they look cool. But now that I watched the show, I, I actually like them a lot more. So 
It's pretty cool. Yeah, Magneto. <laughs> this guy has not appeared yet in one of the episodes, but he's Mike also the one. Oh, Mike Rob. Dude. You know, I, Big Rob, I wasn't going to buy that. And then I, I started looking at other people, other toy reviewers, like why they bought it. It's pinless tech. He looks a little more bulkier um, on the legs and on the arms. It's uh, the probably the best Nightcrawler they've done. So yeah. it's probably like a definitive Nightcrawler now, right? Instead of the other one? Yes, sir. And the guy that got a complete upgrade on the show is Cyclops. He's so much better on the yeah. show now. Uh, so a fight like, scene. Woo. That's the only thing about him. The whole personality, his, his, yeah, his abilities and everything. He's not a bitch. So <laughs> at that last, yeah, he's a huge improvement. Which he never was. He's actually a pretty. He's an asshole or a badass in the comic book. So yeah, he means well. And here's Jean Grey. Mm. She Jean. didn't do much on the first two, the first two episodes, but Jean Grey. Not the not the Prego version, but I, oh shit, where is he at? I do have the baby. I don't know. I think I left them on the shelf. The baby came with one of the figures. You lost oh, the baby? It's in hey, one of the. It's on the shelf. It's in one of the, but I didn't bring the baby with me. I have the baby as well. I think it came with uh, Goblin Queen. Ah, okay. Um, well, that so, gives everything away, doesn't it? Sure does. Uh, <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, that show was uh, Steve already showed, so let's see. Yeah, but Steve showed the, he didn't show the box though. You have yeah, the box. Just, I haven't I haven't opened it, so that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's my cool. So at least you got a box. Yeah. That's pretty really dope, dude. My map. That's sick. Big box. It makes you wonder, right? It's like, oh hundred bucks and you get all this. It's like we could do this with a hundred dollars. Why are they charging so much for the other shit? The other half slaps. Yeah, I, I mean, eventually they'll find that sweet spot, right? They gotta, they gotta get you in the beginning so that they can add up all that money, and then they can determine later down the line, like, okay, we can make more. If we make it affordable. Yeah, so it's like like the ghost, right? People with the ghost, so that shit was like six hundred dollars, pretty much. I think I remember correctly. I'm like, yeah, that's bigger and all that, but. Just to work into it, uh, what they give you and, and result. And looking at this, it's not six hundred dollars. It's probably like more like three hundred dollars price point for that particular. That's where they should have sold that for. But with Star Wars fans, they'll just go blow. Me. They know how to get you. Yeah. Just wait till they come out with a repaint of that. Let's see if it's still a hundred dollars. They get like, you. Get on your knees up in your mouth and say, "Ah!" <laughs> just just, oh, just paint yourself with sucker. <laughs> well. I guess I got sucker right in the middle of my face. I also got this is probably <laughs> the best packaging I've seen for an SH figure art because it, it's it's a bigger packaging. Oh, like, came oh, with cool. the book. You can see the actual attachments. That's yeah. what it That's looks like cool. very Japanese like uh, packaging. Uh, so oh, light no. Let me close this fucking uh, damn big problem. I forgot to show that off. <laughs> yeah, that's that too. By the bed. Yeah. So, but I opened mine, and uh, here's the back. Oh, that's cool. It's you can actually TV. cut that and hang oh, it. Oh, that's the cover of the book, right? Yeah, because I pulled out the book, and here's the book that comes with it. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Here's the back of it. It's pretty and, thick, too. Uh, just... It's all, it's all, every single picture, right? Yeah. No. That's really cool. So it's I big complaint. It's not uh -oh. all the As it, I am a, I, you know, I'm anal retentive. I am pretty, I've been there from day one with this shit. Yeah. Uh, I know all the variants that came out. It doesn't have all the variants. You tell me this is an encyclopedia of the Dragon Ball SC figure arts. I need to have every fucking figure you made, every type of packaging you made. If I'm paying you extra for this fucking same figure I already have, I want this a complete version. It's not. It's probably like seventy five percent complete. So they're missing a bunch of figures. Is, That's the next like part two then. Maybe like a part two. <laughs> That's why it's just why I have to be a third party who does this. Uh, uh, they want to be more because I have like uh, I, I I love ref, uh, toy action figure reference books. I have Master Universe, I have GI Joe, a couple Star Wars stuff like that. He Man, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they they're complete. They got the fucking rarest shit in there. It's all the variants. If it's a small minor variant on the action figure, it's in the. Oh, I think of, didn't Pixel Dan make one? He he made his own, right? Uh, yeah, that's a one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, oh. 
Yeah, that's like, just like imagine all the different variants, all the different. Yeah. There's five different He Man's. Like for Vegeta, the regular Vegeta, there's all these pretty different ones. Oh. I think they just put show two. Uh, so yeah, there's and there's a, and overall there's probably like thirty Vegetas in and show all the Vegetas. I know that. Dude, I so, bet they they're like on the time crunch because that book would be like ten times bigger if they got every single. Figure. It should be double the size. <laughs> that's a lot of figures, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's move on with, uh, yeah, let's do DC. So I am pick, I'm cherry picking DC stuff from McFarland. I guess I like more the more high end shit. So this is the uh, Amazon exclusive. This is a gold label Green Lantern. I love their packaging. Their oh. packaging uh, presentation yeah. is fucking good. Uh, it's really strange. awesome. Here's it looks a- almost NECA ish. Yeah, back artwork. Uh, it, it's on the, on the tray, all the stuff. I already took the figure out. So, this is, i um, sorry, this is uh, Parallax Zero Hour Crash in Time Glow in the Dark Edition. Cool. And uh, here is. And it glows. Yeah, here is Parallax. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, look at that. that. Sick, dude. Yeah, yeah, man. It's really good in person. Because a little the green's stand. translucent, right? The parts of the green? Yeah, it's the glow in the dark stuff. Uh, and it comes with its little stand and its card. Oh, cool. Okay. And the card tells you, because these are the limited ones, so it tells you the amount. I fucking like, ah, can't see it. But it's uh, 693 out of 5,001. They make 5,001 of these, which for action figure is not a ton, honestly. So, and there's also, it's Lancer. Oh, it's Lancer. Okay. The, but that, that was pretty good package. This one's better. This is the exclusive to GameStop. This is a different lot more. This the seventy six hundred pieces. It's like a translucent packaging. So oh, it's like the Shock Bite edition. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is Batman in the back. This is the Batman DC Rebirth Frostbite edition. GameStop exclusive. Also, uh, shoebox um, kind of stuff, and it's also translucent inside. Oh, that's cool. I already, okay. I already took out the action figure. So I'm gonna show you the packaging. So here's the uh, Frostbite edition. Beautiful stand. It's, they're really awesome in person. I, was, I always kind of like the meeting McFarland. Now these are really good. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, that is pretty dope. I'm not a, yeah, I'm a, not a McFarland buyer of uh, DC, but that looks. Oh sick. yeah, that does look dope. Like a small yeah. statue. You, you yeah, and you cherry much. pick them, so that's always nice. Yeah, and here's the uh, car with a stand as well. Okay. Also I could dig it. Yeah. So that is dope, dope. I got two more. Yeah, two more. Uh, so the wall, the that Thursday, uh, Walmart.com stuff, and everybody was dropping shit on Thursday. I got a couple of the items I picked up. Uh, here's the Dungeons and Dragons um, War Duke Evil Fighter, the the yeah, that's, variant, that's variant cool. the, yeah, classic edition. That's really cool. Uh, I I'm wish impressed. they did this with for the next figure. I'm gonna show you where the. So basically, it's not uh, the bubble is not pasted onto the card, and um, I would prefer they would just take a slip on plastic over it. Mm. It kind of represent, it kind of uh, does the bubble, but it's just instead of being glued, it's just been held on by the plastic. The blister, it's, yeah, yeah, it's held on to the board. Yeah, it's a massive card, beautiful. There's all the retro color variants in the back. That's cool. With the regular ones, yeah. And Ward, I can always say Ward is top five. Uh, character designs, in my opinion, I love That's his character designs. Love that old card though. That retro card is so dope. Yeah, and here's the one else on my that they did the package that I like from Mattel Creations. This is the Heart Foundation. The uh, Ultimate. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> the Ultimate Edition. Here's the front with the Hitman. Awesome uh, packaging setup. Yeah. Here's the game with my heart. I did not get the chase. Thank God. <laughs> That's so, pretty cool. Because that would have driven me nuts. And I would have like fucking the new one, the other ones. So awesome, you up and up. They just take a crowd. Oh, and that's shit. cool. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Here and see the. So here's the hitman, yep. Red Heart. Awesome retro LJN uh, packaging. It actually says Coliseum. If you know that the yeah. name of the company to produce the video, the VHS oh. tape for WWE was Coliseum Video. That's why they call them Coliseum Collection. And this one has see, it's like a little. So you can it slips out. Card. Yeah. And so you can you reuse just, it. Yeah. Yeah. The card is saved. It's not yeah. damaged. You could pull out the figure without. So 
And they just, I'm going to show you, they actually just announced a new set uh, during their uh, Mattel reveal. I'll show you the, the new set. And also here is Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Oh, cool. Okay, you got both. Yeah, the tag team. I think it was the nice. first tag team in, in this wave, in this collection, all same collection. So, that's got to start. It's probably my favorite tag team. I think it is my favorite. The Harpy. <laughs> I only think I was put on one, in my, in my opinion. I don't even like Legion of Doom, um, Demolition. I love Gold. the box, man. The box is sick. Yeah, the pack, yeah, it's it's great presentation because you're paying top dollar, dude. It better look fucking expensive. Yeah, it better look like a collector's piece. I better look. I might not pay for it, right? No. Uh, and oh. uh, yeah, that's it. I right, those two bucks that uh, Steve showed. I'm, those coming in today and. Uh, Got a bunch of GI Joe showing up this week, and Marvel Legends, and yeah, they they fucked me right before WonderCon too, Jeff. That, that's just what I'm saying. Right before WonderCon, so my budget for WonderCon is decreasing. WonderCon. I might just pay for the hotel, and that's. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna window shop? <laughs> Pretty much at this point, I'm like. If I'm lucky, I might pick up a shirt, maybe one toy, and I call it quits. But I got, I'm there for two days, so. Well, I'm, we're actually gonna be keeping the hotel, dude. We're just gonna, we're gonna, you know, enjoy that day, dude. We're, so we're gonna stay there. Yeah. Try to make it up there Saturday, but I, I don't think I'll be able to. So. I just love the, ex I personally love the experience I had yeah, last man. year of just going to the Hilton and walking out, do yeah. my thing, head back, come back. I just love that. It really makes it a lot more pleasant for me yeah, personally. Or the accessibility. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool, dude, to be honest. Well, yeah, it's always nice when the convention is next door. I know, especially yeah, when I lived by Comic-Con back in the I don't day. have to that walk over crazy. a block? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what, yeah, because we did that uh, for, um, what was it, uh, the Master of the Universe? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. It was right at the hotel, dude. I remember that. The PowerCon. Yeah. PowerCon, yeah. Power that, that was right at the hotel, inside the hotel. That was man. cool. That was, that was a nice hotel. <laughs> nice hotel. All right, let's start showing some uh, action figures. We're already what? Damn, four minutes. In. Let's boogie. All right, let's boogie. Down with it. All right, folks. Yeah, we're actually on top toys here. Besides the shit we just got picked up, but uh, to show you, we're legit. We're not fucking just saying about talking about this shit. We're actually living it. Uh, so we start with Hasbro Pulse. Uh, I did a few, a bunch of drops. I'm not gonna show you the Transformer stuff. They dropped a ton of them. They're very prolific with Transformers. And if you want to see it, go to HasbroPulse.com. Uh, they have their bunch of sold out, so they're, the collections are ravenous from Transformers. So yeah. this is some Black uh, Vintage Collection Star Wars. Uh, this is uh, they're dropping the original Star Wars characters again. This is like the tenth time, I think. Star Wars Vintage Collection R2D2, R2D2, uh, uh, sixteen ninety nine pre order drops August first. Uh, oh, what am I doing? What do I do right here? Uh, so I was clicking at the other screen. <laughs> uh, so here's the retro card. It's a traditional Star Wars re beautiful card. R2 looks clean. It's really simple. I don't know. They made it brighten them up more compared to the past releases. That's about it. But everything else is the same. So if you already have them, you really don't need them. Unless you're a fucking psychopath like me and a completist, then you good luck. Uh, <laughs> I'm not buying them. So by the way. Uh, six sure. Years. Uh, 100%. <laughs> so there you go. They also dropped Princess Leia. Of course, you, you got to recreate the scene, right? I think that's why they, they're doing a little hoodie thing to, to recreate that particular scene. She looks great. This is one of the better three and three quarters Princess Leia I've seen with the traditional Star Wars 1977 card recreation with the Kenner logo. Beautiful, nice and clean. And, you know, if you don't have what Princess Leia on your collection, you might need one. That's always, I think, a, a standard toy. Mm -hmm. yeah, especially if you, you don't have her. You got you got to pick her up for sure. $16.99, August 1st, 2024. It's not going to break the bank. So uh, let's see. Okay, so then they they dropped the Icolite trailer this week. And Hasbro was, like, ready to fucking just jump on it up. But the revolver, right? They brought out a bunch of fucking characters already, already made, painted, done, sculpted. 
up for pre-order. They don't drop until October 1st. Don't believe that date. It's usually come in earlier, so probably September. Uh, so this is one of the characters. We don't know shit about these characters. They, so they're going to be like, who cares? We don't know. But you know, <laughs> maybe by then you'll care more. Uh, this is Star Wars Vintage Collection May Assassin, 1699. This is a three and three quarter inch release. So they did a couple three and three quarter inch releases, and I'll show you the Black Series actual six inch releases here in a minute. Uh, so here's the card for Acolyte. Wait, so she's an assassin. Does she kill? <laughs> Does she kill the the Matrix girl? Like uh, Moss was it? Carrie, we'll find Carrie out. Moss. She's an assassin. Ooh. She's there to kill people, right? So she's gonna kill somebody. Well, they even I mean, say in the trailer. She was fighting like three people in the trailer, so. They even said the trailer Jedi's are getting killed, right? So, right. So someone's going to die. That would suck. She's in one episode. <laughs> but, but I mean, if you want to start off the show with a bang, that's a good way to do it. I guess. Get get you like pissed and get you involved. Uh, uh, committed. Uh, so. Yeah, Neo lasted three or four movies, man. Neo yeah. lasted one episode. That sucks. She's too expensive. <laughs> uh, yeah, Aaron Yeezy, he said, I, he said, I bought a toy recently, the Super 7 Chamber of yep. Chills 19 action figure. Woo! All right, Aaron. Y- y- you and Big Yeezy. Rob, too. Right there, buddy. Right there. I guess you shut up right now because I was, yeah, we were talking about it earlier. I got the, oh. the on the shirt, too. Long story short, guys, if you guys uh, follow them on Thursdays, man, they got a good show, man. They're always uh, pulling up some ghost books, so definitely uh, check them out. And, and Aaron is on a band. I loves it. <laughs> All right. Another three and three quarter inch. These numbers are three and three quarters. A lot smaller figures. This Saul. is the uh, Jedi Master Soul, 1699. October 1st drop. Pre order up on Hasbro Pulse. We don't know shit about him. He's the He's Squid on. Games. Yeah. Squid. See, I, I missed that show. So I, don't, I have no reference to this actor. Say what? Like, He's he's legit Korean actor. Oh, man. I know, but it's like I have no reference to him. So to me, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that has no reference to this particular actor. And I'm be like, okay, who the fuck is that? But uh he obviously he's important in the show for this show. So uh Jedi Master Soul, six ninety nine, but three and three quarters of nine. We we want to we want to see the black series, right? That's what we care about, black series. So here's the same character, and she sold out and has for a pulse for has Damn, black she sold out? What? Yeah, so you you can still pick her up at a Big Rob, watch Squid Games, please. Yeah, dude, it's See? good. It's... Well, and obviously, if you, the rest of the guys know, dude, I am the worst. <laughs> you are. You are. <laughs> you are definitely one of Unless the Unless it's something you wanted to watch from the beginning, like you X-Men. do not give a shit. I'm a Star Trek fan. I missed a ton of Star Trek shows, a ton of Star Wars shows. I am horrible. I'm halfway through season one of uh, House of Dragons. Season two is about to show up. What? You just started that? No, I started oh, wow. a lot of times when I just dropped off. I'm like, eh, I moved on. I, like the Pamela Anderson and Steve, uh, the her, and her husband show on Hulu. I watched all the episodes there for the last one. Why? No clue. You watched that? That's the thing you picked. But <laughs> I missed the last. I literally didn't watch the last episode though. That was when it came out like three years ago. Rob, right? you need to stop playing your toys, man. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> so. Yeah, so it's real. You know, Black series is a lot better than three and three quarter inch. New packaging, if you haven't noticed. I don't remember the like old that. packaging. The old packaging. Yeah, window display. Yeah. They yeah. added a they added a piece of cardboard on the right here, so there's more yeah. cardboard to the old one, but better than then just all cardboard, right? At least we have a window now. We can actually see the action figures on the front. Um, the product shot, cool. yeah. I'm like for a six inch figure, it looks pretty good. It's accurate to the actress, uh, the the the, uh, the clothing she wears on the show. I probably assume you want to display her like this, covered up. That looks a lot cooler. She has no lightsaber too in the box, unless they kept it as a, as not a spoiler. Maybe it'll come out later or not. But second, uh, say a uh, very. Did right. they show yeah. that she had a lightsaber in the whole trailer? I don't think. No, she no, no. But the thing is, it's just stating it that. You know, maybe she does it. Maybe somebody else with the lightsaber instead of her, because you would think it's her. But it's yeah, not. I don't think I don't think it's her that has a lightsaber. She's just an assassin. And I think she's also a switcheroo. I think they just is like, look over here, but the real bad guy's over here. Mm-hmm. I think she's going to be not a bad guy. 
Oh, she's gonna be like a friend of me or something. In, or in, just... in, the, in the video game, this is like the minor boss. Like a higher, it's just a higher gun. <laughs> so twenty. I sold that on, on Hasbro. Like I said, check Tim at Earth, be that Toy Store, Amazon. They might have that over there. But there's more. Uh, so all the, they dropped a bunch of Jedi's again. Jedi Master sold. This is the this six inch version. Uh, twenty four ninety nine. Uh, looks good. Ooh, I like the gauntlets, dude. The, the gauntlet. wrist gauntlets. That's that's like old Rep- um, old Republic right there. The wrist. Oh, those right there. So, yeah. Well, cool. this is uh, the acolyte, right? So it's uh, High Republic. High Republic. Yeah, High Republic. Sick. I like that. The end of the High Republic. Yeah. Yeah, which is cool. I'm a big High. Rep- I'm one of the few that really love High Republic. Uh, I can't wait to see in live action, animation. There's a video game for High Republic coming out very far away, a couple of years away, but it's been in production for a very long time. So I'm Knights of the Old Republic? No, High Republic. Oh, no, the, the game you're talking about. There's a game called Knights of the Old Republic they're making. No, there's also a High Republic oh, okay. game coming out. Yeah. <laughs> that, that game is uh, fucking amazing. Oh, chances are you have to be high to be playing that game too. <laughs> the, the, I don't know, not gonna get, in the show, they're not going to get too much into the High Republic stuff. Yeah, they they, they definitely didn't show Yoda. Yoda is alive for sure. I don't I don't think they're going to put Yoda in this this show. He's doing a cameo. I bet you a million dollars he's doing a cameo. I, I don't think so because um, he's not supposed to know about any Sith thing going on in the last thousand years. Hey man. So right. it, I'm right. just saying. I'm just saying. I want Skywalker to show up. Who says it's supposed yeah, to make Jeff. sense, Jeff? <laughs> Jeff's all killjoying your I don't know, just the storytelling. <laughs> what sense? This is Star I want Wars. Luke to show up. Yeah, he's all you're Maybe. drinking too much of that blue milk, big Rob. <laughs> yeah, you, a, you're drunk Wars. on blue milk, sir. It doesn't have to make sense. It does. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, that's, that's make believe, bro. <laughs> Uh, so here's the one she is. Died. She's gonna probably die in the first episode. That's that's our bet. Uh, Jedi Master Indara 24.99 October 1st. Uh, what's her name in that matrix? Carry my oh, um, Trinity. Trinity, Trinity. Yeah. Oh my god, this is doing the oh, she made it. <laughs> no, how, how are oh, you not gonna make her do that, that? Egg, bro? That's such an Easter egg. That's yeah, yeah. dude. They're like, oh my god, god. Easter egg. the force is basically from. what Neil's powers are. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what was her name in the Matrix? Trinity. 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 Fucking Trinity, man. All right. Look at that, dude. I can't believe they did that. That's funny. That's sick, though. That's so I'm hard. surprised they didn't do like a 4D shot of her. Oh, <laughs> they made I know. Her a lot of uh, good point. Her like a little rendering. <laughs> I bet you they did. I just didn't, haven't posted it. Maybe, they have yeah. the it for could it. be Instagram posts or something. <laughs> oh, that post looks sick. You, oh, yeah. You really can't get any of those poses with. Black series, like not good As ones. Action figure aficionados that we are, we know that for twenty four ninety nine, this articulation is really, really good. You're getting a lot of good articulation out of this price point. Um, so I could see why this might be a little popular because even if you don't care the character, the, the, the mashers, the customizers, they they could fuck with these and do whatever they want, right? Yeah, I mean, shit, that's just go out. get it signed by Carrie Ann Moss. <coughs> yeah, she, she's not that expensive, out, dude. To be honest, I'm she surprised that the assassin got sold out first instead of her. <clears throat> yeah, well, the other girl, I know her from something else. Uh, the black girl, I know her. Sure. Everybody knows her better. She's made more shit. Oh than yeah, she, she's the she's the Tom Cruise of the show, right? It's like that face you can't exactly. Mistake. You know exactly. who that is. Exactly. We'll see. Uh, this guy don't like the haircut. <laughs> Dude, everyone, <laughs> I don't like the haircut. There's a whole thing about the haircut. Stop you from buying it. The haircut. <laughs> I didn't know you're such a fashion guy. <laughs> no, actually, there, there's a meme Yo, about the rock. haircut. Dude. How's you my mean? hair look? Yeah, fine. If you had your haircut, you would have been. It would have been fine. But okay. <laughs> this is fucking uh, reminds me too much of a Will Smith son. Oh, oh Jayden. come Jayden. on, Jaden Smith. Yeah, might as well just hired him. <laughs> uh, Jordan Fondar, twenty four ninety nine. But I don't know. He might be a cool ass character. Maybe the actor actually know knows how to act compared to Will Smith's son. Uh, so I don't know. He's a person of color. He might just die real quick, oh, or geez. die in the pegs, right, Jeff? I'm just saying. That's what how that's, that's how they do awesome. us. Really it. <laughs> yeah, Star Wars. Is no, he has dude. a yellow lightsaber, right? Is that a yellow one? 
Yeah. Green. Well, better than before, Jeff, because in the old days, the old Star Wars, you remember how they portrayed Asian people in the old Star Wars? Yes. <laughs> yum, yum. Yum, yum. Yeah, the, the, yep. the pilot dude. Yeah. That, yep. that was messed up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your fun dollar, twenty four ninety nine. I'm surprised they got, they got a Mexican with a fucking bandolier and a giant hat. Uh, that is oh, shit, dude. I'd buy that for sure. Hey, I'm Mexican. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Dude, that'd be sick. What do you call it? <laughs> yes, an accent, Juan. too. Juan <laughs> Mexicana. His, his Jedi robes the upon Empire. Him. The Empire. Yeah, yeah. Your yeah. fun dollar. <laughs> I love it. I what love are it. they? He's got a Jedi poncho. That's the first of a order that anybody's ever heard in history. That's hilarious, dude. That's uh, your fun are 24 nights still available on Hasbro Polls. Uh, it's the actual actual action figure itself, the toy itself looks great. Uh, great paints, uh, great articulation. Uh, oh, he does look, the, you know, kind of just generic too, though. Well, yeah, this is the problem with all the Jedi. They don't look generic because they're all wearing the same shit. But Especially the gauntlets, as the actors, you're like, who the fuck are these folks? The gauntlets are sick. I love I love the fact how they wear like the you know the black gauntlets. Yeah, I, I like that. I think that's really cool. But the yeah, the mixed media looks great. I like it. Yeah, yeah, it does look cool. Also, I got, we got an alien, finally. Daphne uh, Keen. Yeah. Th- that was one of the complaints people said. There were too many humans in this trailer. Not enough aliens. Oh, my God. Uh, so now there's be diversity that. between aliens now? <laughs> Are the aliens complaining? Right. 78 <laughs> points of articulation is in the building. What's going on? Are up, 78. Oral no, they even say that in, in that new style LA too, bro. They, what are they? Oh, what are they? Yeah. they either say that or they give you one of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Toma, cabrón. Toma. Yeah, dude. When somebody did well, that what, to what me, I was like, did he what are these? Old mm. yeah, Toma. I, was, got, I was getting off the freeway, yo, with, when we were at LA Comic Con. And I had uh, two of my friends there. There are these homies that were there at the corner. And they were like, and I started laughing. I was like, dude, did he just... Give us the old school F. That's a very old. I like doing this, dude. It's like, yeah, dude. I was Everybody like, knows this. Dude, that's like doing this. I'm yeah. like, man, I'm just trying to go to LA Comic Con and nerd out, dude. This You're is over here hitting me up where I'm from and shit. Particular <laughs> to Mexicans <laughs> and <Eddie>. older Mexicans. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, just, just in time. Was awesome. <laughs> He's like, You're the so fuck. correct, 78. Oh, these ones are actually 78. These, right? I will say this: they, they look like. uh there's better mods to it versus they improve stagnant. a lot. Yeah, articulation here, wise, yeah. I mean, these might be the first though that I've seen dynamic kind of posing similar. I mean, if if they, I feel like if they mod they mod them a little bit better, you might get more more buys from fans. Oh, that's but cool. It's, it's such like a beast pose. of a of a line to get into though. <laughs> Said these toys make me not want to watch. This <laughs> I told you they look generic. Uh, yeah. Just well, put a black wash in there. They look generic. I, well, I don't care. I'm going to watch it. Well, maybe. You know what? I'm fucking horrible about that. But uh, <laughs> I'm gonna you try can to watch, watch it like it. two years from now. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> He's Five like some guys oh, acolytes, right? Yeah, it's a good Take it long. $24.99. Let's move on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they dropped this helmet. It's sold out. It's sold out. <laughs> The uh, Moth Giddy Opinion Electronic Helmet, $99.99. Really? Uh, oh, that's cool. That's, that's cool. cool. It lights that's up, cool. yeah. What I heard, I I, didn't, I forgot to look it up, but I haven't seen any images that GameStop already has. Darth, yeah. Darth Raven. Darth mm-hmm. Raven. Oh, Darth Raven, Raven uh, $69.99, I think. Yeah. Uh, I, I want that. <laughs> I want. I, I'm a big Dark Raven fan. Yeah, sir, have, that's nice. Of just there. go to that's your local GameStop. Game there, man. How to make a trip to GameStop today? Go probably. to your local GameStop. Give them five dollars. That's say, too much money. I want to pre-order this, but it has to be on the website too. It has it, to be. Yeah, but why not just put five dollars down so you guarantee that you're going to get one? Yeah, if not, that's put it towards a game in the future. Or just pre-order for free on GameStop.com. Cap Rex one? Sure. That's a classic. Yeah, that one's cool. 
The Captain Wrench one I've seen, I target. It looks really good. I yeah, love that. that one, I just don't have the space. Yeah. Put it on your head, dude. <laughs> We're on. Yeah, space. I don't have the space. Oh. Put it on your head. <laughs> he he told me puts it on so you put something. Yeah, dude. Dude, I can see I, him sitting down at dinner with Leslie <laughs> he has the helmet on because he has no room to put it anywhere. Yeah, else. dude, he's all cutting his steak and going up like up up he's through all, the helmet. Taking a shower. He's like, he's like, like, like what? I'm bouncing off his head in the shower. He's like, <laughs> Jeez, uh, that would be classic. <laughs> yeah, just do your daily activities. <laughs> that is exactly Lucha like that. Libre. Mil mascaras! Exactly. Dude, that's sick, dude. Oh, God. I went to the what swamp. Blue demon? Blue demon? Is that Big Rob or Captain Rex? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's, hey, it's, it's Uncle Capitan. Rudy. It's El Capitan Rex. That's awesome, exact. bro. Dude, uh, that's sick. Cheap one. Ten bucks at the swamp meet. Makes me want to grab mine. I don't know where it's at. I have, one too. I have one, too. Yo, I have a swim around here. We should wear one and one it would just wear it while doing this. Yeah, dude. Do some elbow drops for Jesus. I barely really picked my ass. Oh, no. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I have uh, one here too. Where is it? Dang. I'll find it. I'll find All it. All right. So that's there you go. Moth Gideon. Uh, I'm not I'm pretty sure it's available on other websites. So but it's sold out in Hasbro Pulse, Try Intimate Earth, probably has BBTS or Big Bad Toy Story, if you don't know. Amazon, all the other major retailers, GameStop, they might have it as well. So if I sold out in Hasbro Pulse. Have they ever made a dark saber? Yeah. Uh, yes. They yeah, have made yeah. multiple. Yeah. I have the Hasbro cheap one. No, no, I'm talking about the expensive one, the FX. Yeah, one. The Disney yeah. Disneyland has one. The Hasbro yeah, Pulse has one. Yeah. Look at that. You got your uh, cosplay right there. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. True that. I like the light up feature. That's a win. Yeah, they they all have batteries included. Uh, most of these helmets they should have a little sick. battery. So also to drop the Star Wars Black Series Holocron Darth Vader exclusive. It is from Amazon.com. Twenty seven ninety nine fall of twenty twenty four. They've been doing a bunch of these. I don't know how much of a success these are for me. They're definitely a pass. They're, this video looks cool, but I uh, like. I don't know. I'm just not excited about these at all, and I don't think the community is as well. But it's just maybe just my small bubble. I think, I think when you look at it, like the whole grand scheme of things, it's like um, how many Vaders are they going to give you? Even if it's a holographic, you know, type, it's like they've overly produced Vader. They're yeah. Like, from the masses. This is still on my GameStop, the same ones, dude. So I was like, <laughs> it's, that? It's, it's in the bedroom, Carlos. Your your mask, your lucha oh. mask. <laughs> the the bed is the ring and shit. I got ropes around. Yeah, it dude. And everything, dude. Well, you you drop an elbow drop. You're like, don't look at me. Was it my oh. Aztec warrior? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, I see what you're putting down, Carlos. <laughs> True that, dude. Yeah. I like that. Right, what happens if I click on the link? Okay, I'm still available on Amazon.com. Uh, check it out, twenty seven ninety nine. Uh, go pick them up if you're interested. Computer. Uh, and I actually like this. Uh, I like the cards. I like the whole setup. I have pre-ordered it from Amazon. It's also an Amazon exclusive. This is uh, Darth Vader Thrawn General uh, Grievous Black Series three pack exclusive oh, on Amazon.com. Okay. Uh, or from it's actually an exclusive to Amazon. I'm sorry, available only at big retailers. But let's look at the Amazon version. Oh, the link changed on them. Maybe they sold out. But uh, let me go back here. Let's try the. Oh, that was the Argon. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, where'd it go? Target? No, where's the link for this? Oh, I guess there it is. Oh, okay, yes. It's, it's exclusive uh, to Amazon. Uh, 80 bucks? Yeah. Uh, let me click on this. I mean, if they're 25 each, that's almost kind of. If, if it's yeah. 80 bucks, that, that's for the whole three. I mean, that's like, what, 50, wow. 75? Plus, oh, man, uh, like boxing. 80, let me see, eighty bucks divided by three. I really sold music. Twenty six. Yeah, twenty six sixty six. Yeah. I like the, the color. Why is he white road? It's a repaint on Grievous for sure. It's more yeah. uh, to the uh, original cartoon, the cartoon yeah. network version, not the Clone Wars, the the original anime version. Clone Wars. 
my brother James keeping it real low grade. If you guys missed the rewind, check it out last night. There was some excellent talk on uh, some adult things. I didn't read the room, but uh, my bad on that. <laughs> well, here looks cool. Much love James, dude. He 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 gave us a shout out uh, yesterday. Oh, he nice. Up, uh, one of the toys he picked up. He was or the comics he picked up uh, for Cover Lovers on the Fog. <laughs> Oh, okay. I think he's. Uh, I think he's going to WonderCon. He is going. Oh, to nice. WonderCon. If you guys are out there, check him out. He's such a good guy, man. We're going to WonderCon too, man. We'll see you there. Yeah, Robert too. Uh, Comics on the Edge, JD, Batmite, um, JD. Punisher. Everybody, the mad folks are going to be there. I'm bummed that I can't go. I'm going to try to make it. I'm going to try to just sell a kidney and try to get out there, but we'll see. Here's the actual packaging for it. Well, that's kind of cool. So, all right. Yeah, I, I dig it. So I, 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 but it's January first, twenty twenty five. So I got plenty of time. Oh, you got a bunch. You could, you could cancel that right now. Yeah, dude, you, that's a New Year's resolution for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that means they don't know. They're just guessing. So, all right. So Mattel had a big presentation called Reveal. It's a two day uh, presentation. Nice, dude. And you had to go onto their website and watch this. Basically, a two hour presentation and there was toy drops on thursday and nothing on thursday your wife loves team nerd her yeah she's like i really like these guys they, they talk about being cover lovers but they're cover haters now nah, we'll just call it like it is guys they call it like it is they're cover haters Damn, people I need like that more than we fucking just shit on all these covers but i i, I personally i hate it when we do that but it, it happens man it's just yeah it's you can fun. i mean you all, all these covers that they, they produce, they're, they're not all going to be winners. I mean, and that's not taking a jab at any artist. Like, in a day, like, if you have if you had a personal day job that you're doing, some days you're going to mess up, some days you're going to do great. That's just the way mm. you look at it. The, or the, the way jab, I look at it. The jab should go to the person who's deciding which of these art uh, work is going on these incentive rec- uh, covers. That's the person the editor. who's hired. Yep. But okay. <laughs> We all our disclaimer to every time every show is art is subjective. So mm-hmm. all right. No artists were hard. To toys, and this is also art, I guess you could say. But uh they had a bunch of drops. I'm not gonna go over them. Uh I did pick up one, this one. Uh <laughs> and it's and it's sold out. Cyclone. Uh let me click. I have on a it. classic one of that. Yeah, I uh, I, no, do I have the classic? I have the um, classics for sure. Oh, okay. But the packaging is Cool Origins packaging, deluxe version box, uh, lovely art in the back. There's a and little it's sold uh, out. That's yeah, sold cool. out. It's kind of sold out. You can't buy this anymore. eBay, good luck. It's probably sixty dollars now. Uh, but the little uh, sneak peek there of the Fright Zone. If you remember the Fright Zone from the old days, that's the old uh, Hordak placement. The snake coming out of the hill. That's, that's so a little uh, heads up is what's coming in the future. That's one of the best packaging ever. Big Robbie cutting in and out. Yeah, you're kind of coming, cutting it in and out, brother. Am I? Test. You're good. Now you're good now. Test these one, two, three. It's a new laptop, so I'm not sure what's uh, what's going on. The distance. I think I had the OG version of this one. Um, OG, OG, maybe. Yeah, before my before my parents left it in the closet. You know. Oh no. Full of full of the box full of toys. And just to you're aware, a lot of these figures have actually comic books, and they're mini comics, but they're comic cool. books on these figures. So that's a good extra. There's some little art for the comics. So my favorite company uh, used uh, my Dio for TMNT solicitation. I felt kind of used. <laughs> really? Yes. <Yeah, super, laughs> oh, so, oh, shout, oh, no, Matt, shout out to seventy eight. Um, yeah. His Dio, his, his, his recent Mirage Dio for the Ninja Turtles. Super Seven used the background for the reaction figures. So you shout out, call them shout out, out. That, man. Seriously, well, for real, like, uh, see, see here's true, here's dude. my gripe. Here's my gripe with companies. You have third parties that are that are are great at what they do. Seventy eight is bomb. I mean, I have his dial right here of the Endo uh, City from Demon Slayer that he made. Right, right. Freaking epic. He just recently had a, a Daredevil like hallway. Uh, um, epic. And those things sell out. If you're not on top of it, you're gone. If your eyes are shut, it's gone. But if co- big companies are going to utilize other third party or other artists that um, that create these things, they need to highlight them, dude. Because yeah. I mean, well, it's, yeah, I sure. think it's a creator's sure. dream 
to eventually maybe get hired to a company or whatnot, uh, or just to get accolades, man. I mean, it builds their business because they might not want to go on to a big corporation. They might want to stay and build what they have. But you yeah. got to you got to give shout outs and you got to give their flowers to them. Enough's enough. Uh, yeah, sure. We've got a shout out for sure. Uh, yeah, seventy eight. You already know, bro. I got you. Oh, yeah, dude. That's that's that, I'm that'll, a that'll never happen. Mondo too. Oh, Mondo used it too. Oh man, we got some put up here. a lawsuit, bro. Something, man. I should no, I gotta put up a legal team together. together. Yeah, bro. That's. It, I think it's BS when when they do that. Yeah, you got to give that, you got to give these creators some shout outs. You got to give them love, and then you got to acknowledge them. You Take mean note. when I uh, created the man moon, uh, the moon man uh, Funko Pop, and then they sold it three months later? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's, right. that's BS. Dude. Yes. <laughs> Where's the love, man? Um, so they also dropped Street Shark. There he is. <laughs> that's it. That's him. That's cool. <laughs> He's making fun of us playing with our toys, and he goes and spins it. <laughs> it's supposed to spin. <laughs> yeah. But you're playing with it still. And yeah. there's no way this was gonna be unopened. This is when I was a kid. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I'm well, surprised the legs are still there. Oh, the wobbly it has a wobblies though, huh? You can't stand them up, can you? I can, I can stand oh, okay. them up, but it's it's a uh, yeah. Yes, Big Rob. Yeah. What what do we got here, Big Rob? I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Uh, so they also a lot of people were excited for these street sharks. I have no fascination for them. I was old, not old, but I'm, I remember Vin Diesel used to do a commercial on these, dude. Yeah, he did. No, he did a pre- he did the toy fair presentation for them. Yeah, he had hair back then, dude. That's how long he was. <laughs> Then they had these eight ball. Oh, oh you're my bad, James. <laughs> we're all like, we're not <laughs> yeah, yeah, my bad, James. James pre ordered them, but they're a little more expensive on the expensive side for the cage packaging that you get. There's no other accessories for $25.99, brother. I would say 20 bucks would be the comfort spot. It's original to the, it's definitely uh, original yeah, it's just to the original release, right? It's that's how the packaging call back, and I can appreciate it, but yeah, James knows. I'm just I, I there's just a whole wave it. coming. This is the first three figures. There's another. Six or seven figures coming. So. Oh, yeah. Damn. Hold on, sir. <laughs> so, eight, eight, eight balls. balls. Magic eight balls are coming. Yeah, this is cool. They made them into action figures. I love them. Uh, like all that... He-Man. Oh, it's sold out? Yeah, He Man sold out. Yeah, it's gone. Everything else is available. And they also came out with uh, branded Uno cards. Oh. Okay. The Star Trek one, though. man. Get that, Rob. I was gonna get the Masters though. I wanted the Masters or the, or the Star Trek. Mm-hmm. I just, like I said, uh, you don't just... want the Monster High. Uh, no, when these came out, I was too old. <laughs> Chicks, drinks, <laughs> and skating. <laughs> yeah, dude. How old are you, dude? <laughs> Yo, he's. Uh, I think seventy eight is around our, our age. Seventy eight. I think seventy eight is seventy eight. <laughs> It's nah, nah. <laughs> That's just how many points of articulation know. we have. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so the, what's the name of that club in New York? Club seventy. What's it called? That famous club. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it was seventy-eight. Fifty. Uh, 50, yeah, 54, 54. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, see, he's seventy-eight, so he's, he's Studio fifty-four. He was a Studio fifty-four. Oh, Nineteen seventy-eight. Yeah, oh, he's younger than me. Oh, he's our elder. That's kind of cool, though. Your name racks up to your your birth. He, he, he's not all of our Studio elders. fifty-four. Yeah, yeah, Studio fifty-four. He was there with uh, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so you're two years older than me, then seventy-eight. Yeah, me too. So for this is big deal brother. Bro. They had a bunch of different also merchandise like apparel and stuff for all the action figures so if you're a big fan of these action figures they had a bunch of apparel for you they had a whole line for cyclone dude let's look at all their yeah, masters of the universe hey, why are they hyping up cyclone so much yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's a lot of bigger but this is all these oh they're stuff. really happy to do it up Uno. yeah that's that's a big step for them i guess i mean it's it, merchandising at its finest the street right? shark stuff looks good Oh, the eighty, the eighties, nineties, the colors, 90s. the designs, yeah. Yo, yeah what's up? Cool. And Chef R. D. Harris is in the building. Good Chef. afternoon, fellow football as well. Yeah. It's, it's raining here in the West Coast, sir. Yeah, man, we're, we're uh, full of rain. rain today. We got a date it's with the rain, like Eddie Kendricks. Yeah, it's still I, raining right now. It's, it's it raining? hasn't arrived here yet. I know that's coming, but it hasn't arrived. It's gonna come here then. All right, but so yeah, they did a ton of stuff and. Pretty much, yeah, uh, it does like a like DLC, right? Does, 80 shirts, 90 shirts. Only a few items sold out. The Master Universe stuff sold out. So, and luckily, I got my Cyclone. So, the Magic 8 Ball sold out too? Yeah, Magic 8 Ball. Yeah. yeah Look at that. Out, yeah. Yeah. And I would have bought myself one of those. 
Uh, if you like one. Uh, yeah, I'm a, am I going to win the lotto? Win the lotto? <laughs> like, it's not likely. Right? No, or try um, again. <laughs> so on, this, one more time. Uh, <laughs> one more time. <laughs> this was not a Walmart situation where he got attacked by bots. So that thing got for that. Dude, congrats on getting that big rock. I know, because that Walmart situation, it was out of, out of control. Ooh, I know. Bot. All right. And oh, boy, oh. They actually did show, They actually had showed a few more things uh, on the next day for wrestling, for WWE. And I'll show you a few of the items. This is brought. This is coming from the uh, oh, major wrestling podcast uh, IG, IG account. This is uh, Matt Cardona. Uh, I, uh, you know, the whole setup or... So just check out. Here's the Coliseum video uh, present uh, new preview. As Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Million Dollar Man, <clears throat> and there will be chases as well for these on Black Card. Yeah, Big Rob, you're fucked, dude. Well, I didn't get it for the Heart Foundation, thank God. So, dude, that wrestling is another black hole, dude. It is, dude. Ricky the Dragon time... Steamboat was one of my faves. Dude, I remember last time when I went to what's it called the the convention, the stunt steep what sons was it son the a toy convention. Anyways, there was like a whole booth and a guy had all these wrestling figures, but like so many. And I'm like, dude, these are just as bad as Marvel Legends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. It, 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 I mean, I think if anything, I mean, it's so hard to be a collector that you got to kind of stay in your lane because exactly. If you're a wrestling fan, like I just started getting back into like WWE. Um, and try, I, I don't have cable to watch AEW stuff, but I, yeah. I have a friend that's always going to these events and always watching them, so he keeps me up to date. But, uh, you know, wrestling is dope. I mean, it's, it just reminds me of childhood, dude. Don't play no fucking games, Jake. Yeah, dude, it's, it's a guy's soap opera, dude. You know, it's a man's soap opera, dude. Oh. All the drama they have in the background and all the yeah, fighting. Dude. I might take a steel chair to somebody at a con if they Hell get in front yeah. of me. No, uh, but... I'll Rob, you were with me at Frankenstein's. We saw a whole booth full of a dude with all these wrestling figures, dude. Actually, oh, no, you get up. there's so many you get nauseous. You gotta walk out. Um, <laughs> yeah, you get dude. you get sick. You get nauseous. It's like Ross. <laughs> you ever been to Ross? You start getting nauseous at Ross and shit. True, true. Um, so they also just present us with the new. Uh, yeah. I think it's the four inch. Oh, uh, really? The Hasbro yeah, line, yeah, the yeah, taller ones, right from the nineties. So they got Shawn Michaels. They got I, I see Yankum DDS. The dentist is basically his king. King, but his original first original character yep. was actually a dentist. Yep. Uh, Alondra Blaze, who was a women's champion back in the early 90s, and David Boy Smith, uh, well, his original run as a single wrestler, as the British Bulldog. So they the British some, Bulldog. You know, the, yeah. the, the, I see Yankum, that's a deep cut. I don't even know what the real deep cut. Uh, so Alondra Blaze, too. I mean, it's, people don't remember her too much. So that's the new, the new releases for the three and three quarter line. Usually I see them at Walmart. These are like these are these are like uh, two packs of like vintage. Uh, this is but nineteen seventy stuff. So the, this is a like Gorilla Monsoon versus Muhammad Ali. If you don't know, uh, there was a, pre a special uh, moment where Gorilla Monsoon was wrestling somebody, and Muhammad Ali was in the audience. It was set oh, up obviously, but he came in and he was pissed at Gorilla Monsoon because Gorilla Monsoon was a bad guy at that point, and they got into a fight, and and Muhammad Ali's boxing him and shit. And Gorilla Monsoon just grabs his ass and starts doing the, the, the fireman carry, spin wheel and shit. Mm. So that's what they're trying to uh, represent here. Damn. Gorilla Monsoon is like, I'm tired of getting jabbed at. Pick his ass up and throw him. Then they then they uh, did a, a the King Harley race, the NWA champ versus uh, the WWF. It was three W's in the old days in the 70s. Yeah. Uh, F, uh, uh, champ. Um, shit. Um, Superstar Billy Graham, when he was young and full of steroids, yeah, yeah he was um, Yeah, he was a beast, man. That back then, these were like they were like celebrities, man. These two guys, uh, Harley Race and Superstar Billy Graham. And so they got a cool representation of their of their encounter uh, back in the mid seventies in, in New York at the Madison Square Garden. So there's the packaging for them. This is Legends territory. It's, it's the Legends of Territory era. Back when it was all territories, different territories across the country. Not it was just not like two companies or something like that. When it wasn't like, WWE, WA. Um, there was a the world world class champ out of Texas. There was the AW out of Minnesota. There was Florida Championship Wrestling. There was like at least twenty of them. Yeah, yeah. It, it was dope back back in those days, dude. Like 
until they kind of merged it in. Yeah, it was dope. It was just epic. You could develop. It's like minor leagues, right? There's minor leagues. There's better uh, big leagues, and then like the, the, the all the WWE was like WWF was like the big one. Yeah, hundred percent. But not, that's all gone thanks to Mr. Groper himself, Vince Kennedy McMahon Jr. Uh, thanks to him, he killed all the off the territory. So, he could, well, uh, well, thanks to his dad. Him. Well, his dad sold it to him. His dad didn't do shit. He was part of the territory system. It was the son who did it. Uh, these two guys, I don't know. I don't watch too much of the. Oh, that's right. Imperium. Yeah, so people are excited for these two guys. Uh, they, I think one of their first figures, I believe. So. Yeah. It's Vinci, Vinci, and uh, I forget the other guy, um, but it, it, it's a, a faction of the uh, Kaiser, Imperium. Kaiser, Kaiser, and Vinci. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. all they need so, is Gunther, and then they'll have the trio. So they got a two pack for that, and that's it from the presentation of Mattel that day. So let's keep it moving. Here is a here's yeah, here's again the I was in, uh, on toyart.com. There's a recap of all the stuff they did. All the different action figures, presentation. I'm not gonna. I would kind of just went through them already. So you could pass through Street Sharks. You know, that's oh, cool. oh, actually, there is some more. There is some more presentations from Motu. Uh, they got a uh, what's his shit? What was his name? Uh, Charlie Ember. Shit. Uh, so what was that like? A skull ghost or? I don't know. So he's the original concept for Skeletor. Yeah, he was Skeletor back in the 1981, 1980. This was the original concept. Uh, they already done it from classics. This is the first time they're going to do it for Origins. <laughs> so that's uh, here's the early presentation of this action figure. This guy, man, I, this is so, these are so offbeat characters. I can remember he they did one for Master Universe Classics. They're also doing that one for Origins. Uh, I forgot his goddamn name. I remember uh, this guy in uh, in, in Maddie Collector. I remember he classic. was on Big Bad Toy Store for a while. Yeah, so they're doing an orange version, so he's coming. Here's the figure. <clears throat> I'm more excited for this one. The uh, Hordeck Trooper uh, oh, cool. from the Masterverse line. This is the bigger 7-inch line. And you can actually remove his helmet. You actually see their heads now. Oh, yeah, you can never do that. Even in the, in the cartoons, you never see that. Yeah. So, Masterverse. Damn, that looks good. Mm-hmm. Now we're talking yeah, about the figure. Look at that. The sheen on that, that looks good. Here's a size comparison of a Masterverse with the Origins. So yeah, that could go well with my um, my uh, classics. Yeah, uh, if you don't have you never you didn't get the the Horde Trooper two pack from classics. That's a good substitution for it. For That's sure. cool. That's cool. All right, <clears throat> that's what from Mattel. Let's move on to some Bandai okay. and Gundam. Uh, Robot mm-hmm. Spirits got uh, Slaughter Dagger version and M A. 110 bucks, t- Toy 2024. What is it? I always love when they do the crazy color schemes on these. All black with the red. Looks good. Beautiful figure. I don't know. I didn't get I didn't get to check it out. 78. He was asking about uh, the Motu. What's on the presenter's arms? Oh shit. Uh, I didn't see that. What was what was maybe it? Extra, oh. extra, some extra hair or something like that? <laughs> this is dope. Yeah, oh, Big Rob, why do you do this to me, dude? Why? Oh, he has that toe shot. You gotta do me like that. I, I try to stay so that far away from him. Crazy. And every really? time he brings them up, I'm like, mm, I gotta set aside some money for one of these bad boys. Yeah, they're pretty. It's, 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 I always show you the better ones. There's a bunch. There's a lot more cheaper ones. It kind of looks like not. um, uh, oh, uh, Optimus Prime, but uh, what is this? Uh, Nemesis Prime, co- uh, color motif. Yeah, 110 bucks on this one. Torch 124. Like I said, there's the more affordable ones. I, I usually present you the better ones because they just they look better. But it's 110 bucks on this one. And there's more drop. They're always dropping a ton of Gundam shit on uh this is a p-bandai.com or just type in premium bandai on Google and you'll pull up the website. There's a bunch of other stuff. I usually just show you the Gundam and Dragon Ball, but there's a other bunch of other stuff too. Uh, they they did present a new action figure for uh, Dragon Ball GT. This is SH Figure Arts Trunks GT, sixty five bucks, November twenty twenty four. We've got to the point now where we're doing Trunks from GT, so that's crazy. The adventurer, even. This is the the Soy Boy Trunks. The what? I I Soy definitely Boy. would just pose them like that, dude. Because the, the the jump kick that they have, like that, 
you could tell like the, they just swiveled the, the sh in the shorts, kind of like what they did with Luffy from One Piece. That looks dope right there. I think you get an extra head, no, or something. Mm -hmm. you get an extra piece you get for the Goku in this figure. That's $65, cool. Five dollars. Uh, delivery month is November. The pre-order just went up, so you got about two months before they close the proper. Boom. So let's move on to Super Seven, Seventy's favorite wow. website. Uh, so this is reaction figures. This is dinosaurs attack reaction figure wave one supreme evil red. Uh, this is crazy. I don't know what the fuck this is, but it looks pretty cool. This is like a, some sort of giant demon dragon dude. He has a I'll dude be, right there. He's about to how just big is this. I don't know. It looks like something familiar though, like um, and I can't put my finger on it, of course, but it looks familiar. Probably is. I would say yeah, it's uh, hundreds of millions of years into the future. It came and swept through the time by an accident of science. Can the human race survive, or will these towering monarchs from the dawn of creation once again inherit the earth? This is time for all this time for all time. Ultimate nightmare now is reality. Supreme evil. Tops. Was oh, this yeah. from Tops? That's what I saw that too. Tops. Oh, yeah. this is Tops cards. Yeah, I remember the art now. Yeah, that it is. That, that's that's what I, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, I remember the art from Tops. Yeah, this is a uh, old Tops cards. Like I garbage Pill Kids type of art. Dude. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. I think it's older though. I think it's from like maybe the sixties or seventies. Probably. Like now, I can see the art. Yeah, it's the Supreme Evil Red. Kind of has yeah. that like golden pulp, uh, pulp age kind of art, right? Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. Which has been you know, Super Saiyan has been doing a good job with that. $20. Uh, like I said, it's all about the art. This is it not for, for posing or, or, or playing with? This is mostly just for art. These are the uh, type of toys you probably give your, your nephew. Like Growing up, you're like, he won't break this. I just wonder why the face is different on the figure in the card. What do you mean? Well, it looks like there's just one eye on the figure. No. On the card. Is it? No, you yeah. can see it. There's no, there's three eyes. Six eyes, and I mean, six eyes and all. Yeah, three. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's just the way it looked then. Okay. So, okay. So, that got dropped uh, $20. Uh, you can purchase it now. And if you're into Slayer, uh, Minotaur, Black Magic, Wave 2 Ultimates came out. And there's, if you order to him, there is a plus extra head and sword with him. Uh, 55 bucks. Uh, pre order closes April 21st. Slayer. Uh, that's sick and yeah. um, you know um to kind of add into the ultimates uh reveals um czarface if you're a hip-hop fan it sold out already but on czarface's uh so's um website he had those up because super seven already had pre-sold out already but oh, really? um, and you could get it on big bad toy store though so if you're looking for it uh if you're a fan of hip-hop czarface um his uh Ultimates figure looks dope. I, I purchased it. It has a wired cape and everything like that. Not as articulate as I would want, but you know what? I'm going to couple that with the records that I have. Es todo. Do you want to hear the greatest Slayer story ever? Good luck. Uh, what's his name? Jim Brewster. Remember the comedian from Saturday Night Live who did the Goat Man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 So he has a great a Slayer story about his, his experience going to a Slayer concert back in the day he's a big heavy metal guy and he it's the funniest shit you ever heard he does it so well look up him and tell him his slayer story on, on it's on youtube I'll it's an it awesome fucking story i can't wait all right let's move on so yeah so they dropped this four pack of team nt reaction figure wave nine these are the old um eastman and laird versions of black and white they have all the turtles, Leonardo, yeah. Donato, Michelangelo, Raphael, for twenty oh. bucks a piece. Huh? Hey, Rob, uh, pull up the promo of the first picture where you, where you had it up, um, or or scroll down and see some of those pictures that are there. That's seventy eight uh, um, Dio that's in the background. Oh, really? Yeah, I just saw it when you highlighted it. You put your cursor on the first one. You could see the background of his Dio. Oh, this just taking a crap. Pull up. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. They, they they should give credit where credit's due, man. If you're gonna use, 
you know, uh, an artist's uh, creation, please, by all means, like, holler at them, man. Give them credit. The website just took a crapper. Yeah, it looks like it. There we go. It always, do, it always does this shit. It rolls into that old display and then comes in. Yeah. I've had that happen to me, too. Damn, who's listening to some music? Well, me, are you listening to music, Charlie? What's that? Are you listening to music? Uh, God, I was watching a show or something. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. God. There it is. So, yeah, I like the first one up at the very top. If you highlight him, yeah, you see that dial in the background? That's 78. No way. This one right here. Yeah, right? Yeah. The, um, right, right, like right up at the very top next to the Slayer figure. Right there. That's his dial. But, That's uh, what he created. He created that Mirage. Yeah, they all dial. have the same images, I think. His oh. super uh, dial? Yeah. Look at that. That's his dial right there. That's really? So yeah. Damn, yo. Damn. It's Dude, it's a dope dial. I missed out on that. That Like when I was first. Uh, seeing 78 in like in the community i missed that dial and i was like this and that was like dial, four or five years ago right no no 78 uh i think his this dial was maybe like last year i could be wrong if, if he's in the chat still correct me brother but uh, yeah that's his dial i mean that's it, crazy bro the, damn I'm at credit in this. you're famous bro. 78 you're famous well yeah, I I mean, I like how they branded a Nickelodeon and Viacom right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, the turtles are available for twenty bucks on Super Seven. Let's go to Mexico Toys. We got Halloween two, nineteen eighty one. Michael Myers with sound, ninety eight bucks. This is the uh, the Mega Scale MDS Mega Scale line. Well, let's take a look. Cute, cuddly, murderous. <laughs> cuddly and murderous. Cuddly. That's a great way to put it. <laughs> I wonder if it plays a song. Da, 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 da. Imagine. Damn, look That's, at that thing, man. It's crazy that John Copper just came out with him just fucking on a... On a on an electronic organ, right? Just playing with it. I know. It does it. Do, 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 do. The director on his own, he just did it. It's just crazy. <laughs> 98 bucks available at mescotoys.com. Check out mescotoys.com. There's a website, $98 off for pre order. Uh, ships September 2024. Nothing crazy, crazy, but I like this. Wow. Uh, this is one of the Barbarian 1980. This is the uh, statue from Mesco Toys. This is uh, Mesco Static 6. Corner of a two figure statues translated into Renato Carzaro's art style into a three dimensional tribute to his classic film poster. Three seventy five, deposit thirty eight dollars. I know you're the big statue guy. What do you think, Charlie? That's dope, dude. Wow. This is one of the classic VHS covers that I've grew up with, dude. This Yo, is sick. That, uh, that, how big is it though? I, I mean, I know they got to count the sword. He's up in the air, but how big is it? Does it say? Uh, 25, 25 inches, inches, approximately 11 pounds. Okay, yeah, this is for uh, for the price, dude. This is really good, man. And plus, this is uh, this is uh, what Schwarzenegger Arnold Arnold's Conan. You can imagine if they had a button where you pushed it and he's like, ah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, get to the chopper. Not even in the <laughs> yeah, dude, just his screaming voice would be uh -huh. like, if this you go on my stories right now. There's a guy who does Arnold's. That's scream. where I got it. And he did the Street Fighter one. He did the Haruken, the Haruken, and the Sharuken, but Arnold's voice. Yeah. Oh, Dude, yeah, this is this, this is, is good it. for for three seventy five and plus. There isn't. There's Conan statues, but not not a lot. Not many, dude. Not many. Not like this. Not like the classic posters. Oh, it's really good, man. The three seventy five, I think, is really worth it. Well, if they do Conan, they'll probably do Red Sonia too, right? But Wait, Mezco, in that door, huh? Bro, that's that girl that turns to a Valkyrie, right? Remember that movie? Yeah, yeah, spoilers, it's sick, but yeah, it's yeah, really cool. A memory lane, guys, watch this, yeah. Movie. And plus, it's iconic to the classic poster, man. This is really cool. I like this. I'll probably think about that for 375. It's really good, it's really good. I All right, masco.com deposit 30 bucks. 
All right, let's go to SciShow.com. This is uh, from Royal Sarangor. This is a, a pewter collectible, Hulk Origins Gamma Green. There's also a gold Ooh. version for a 1305. It's like you want to Let's look at the gold. Uh, Get that this is that gold. limited to 400 the gold. Was it made? Is it like a pewter or is it like really? Yeah, pewter. Oh. Must be heavy. Uh, it's, sort of, it's literally a presentation of him the first time converting into the Hulk. Uh, all the different forms. It is a comic book OG version, limited to 400, it looks like. Wow, that looks dope. Uh, looks like it's silver. The silver. Better colors, obviously, because it's green, right? Cause it's Hulk. Yeah, because that's what he is. Mm -hmm. uh, I would have thought it was like a jade kind of touch to it, but yeah, mm -hmm. now that I think about it. But wasn't the first Hulk like grayish? Yeah, it was gray. That was grayish, wasn't he? It was yeah. sad. Yeah, because uh -huh. the green was too expensive on the paper. So yeah, they didn't. They couldn't print it with it. Oh, it's right there. It shows them right there. Yeah, on the on the upper right hand corner, there's real color. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, not it's not that big, but I guess pewter is expensive. So yeah, that's a that's um, type of different metal. So this is high end. Uh, snobby collectors shit. But yeah, limited to four hundred. Like when you order a plate with one shrimp, and it's like two hundred bucks, but it's because you're a high roller. You tell your waiter, bring me my Hulk, bitch. <laughs> like, exactly. with, with or without the caviar, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I'm a collector, but I want to get my money's worth in a way. And this, I mean, you're right, different material, this and that. But this is not my way of collecting, though. So I would have dropped that on this. All right. Let's move on to Batman Royal Salangor. This is from Royal Salangor. This is a bust. Uh, same, I think, same as the Hulk, right? So this is DC Comics, eighteen oh five, limited to three hundred. And what is this fucker made of? Uh, let's see. He is no, it doesn't say the materials. What the hell? Well, then why are you charging so much, bastard? I'm reading the synopsis. It doesn't say, but. It's probably some crazy material. I doesn't say what it is, so. Yeah, I'm not a huge um. How do you say it? Well, bust. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do like a few busts that I want, but I'm not a huge bust collector. Dude. <laughs> ah, bust. Ah, he's made of Jay. justice. He said it's made of justice. But that that, <laughs> that material in itself is the most expensive. You know what I mean? Justice is pretty expensive. Justice, though, <laughs> justice has a price to yeah, it. Yeah, dude. dude. Justice has its prices. And yeah, it's, called, it's called taxes. You pay every fucking year. Yeah, uh, justice right there. Bro. Justice served for I got us. a tax return, so I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it's 300, so it's a low edition size. There's another, like, maybe high end collecting. Well, how much is it? 1800? Oh, geez. It has to God, be. Pure. It has a lot to of be justice. Pure. Justice has this expansive, bro. Only Bruce yeah. Wayne and his buddies could afford this shit. Yo, the price yeah, of peace. Is pure, too. It's priceless. Yeah, yeah we, we don't mind expensive shit, but it's just not the scale for that expensive shit. So, obviously, the material must be something rare. Uh, I'm not sure why they don't say what the material is. is. I would probably be promoting that shit. It's made out uh, of a meteorite that fell from the sky two years ago. Yeah, that, that <laughs> more, see, more money, right? Uh, no one's buying this shit. All right. Uh, it's August 2024. It's made from this high-end stone right next to the lake of Minnetonka. Dinosaur bone or something. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Nourishment Made from your life. ass. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Cyberpunk That's Harley it. Quinn Deluxe bonus version. There's also a deluxe version oh, and cool. a standard version. So they're all over the place. A little cute. Maybe yeah, a little cute one. hyena. Ooh, there's a cybernetic hyena? Damn. Yeah, I don't know that. But let's look at the deluxe bonus version. 1725 for the bonus, 1405 for the deluxe, and 1105 for the regular. But let's click on this one. Uh, bonus parts, be cool, 400 yeah. pieces is extra head. Uh, this is a crazy ass, it's big as Fox 23.62 inches. Uh, this is Prime One Studios, they're hard to beat. They are some of the premier statue manufacturers. This, I have two of their statues. Look at the leg, bro. I don't even, I don't even know if you have a cybernetic leg. What the hell? Yeah, dude. So this is like the uh, this is like a cyberpunk art direction, then, huh? This is not legs. from a storyline, is it? She knows how to use them. I, I not that I've read of. Yeah, it's just the art direction side of, of Cyberpunk. 
neon blowing a neon lighting in the that's bottom cool. there. The base so. that that plays a part. That's really cool. Yeah. So let's look at the the lock. Maybe the lock has better pictures. The pizzazz in it. Yeah, dude. The razzle dazzle, dude. Yeah, look at the exactly, the, the, the other fucking crazy him. Razzle dazzle. Look at that. <laughs> it looks this cool. This is dope. Yeah, it's dope. I like it. It I ain't mean, shit I, without that. It ain't shit without. You might as well go deluxe to get that extra shine. Oh, always. That razzle always. dazzle is as Toy Jesus would say. Go all the way, all the way or nothing. This is cool. Um, but um, I'm wondering if uh, they're going to show maybe uh, other villains in cyberpunk form, maybe even Batman in cyberpunk form. Damn, that would be sick. Yeah, so that's really cool. I like the art direction, and plus, I'm a fan of anything cyberpunk. Yeah, I even have the game, so it's like it's a cool era. Well, it starts at 1100 and goes all the way up to 1700. So if it, make a choice, uh, it's a lot. Yikes. So January 2026, though, this, you're going to wait a while for this one. Uh, probably want to show you that's trust me, you, these are, you ever see one of these in person, they'll blow your fucking mind. You're so yeah, good. dude, they're really, uh, they really attract attention, these pieces, dude. They're really dope, man. I agree. Yeah, it's like buying a small car. You think they'll have like a proto at um, like WonderCon if they if they're there? Yeah, if they're there. They'll have one of these. Yeah, so, especially at Comic Con. Yeah, to check it out like face to face. That I mean, yeah. that'll make the decision even that much yeah, more special. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right, from Hot Toys, a new action figure. This is um Umbra Operative Art Troopers two sixty five. This is like the fifth element version of Art Trooper or the taxi version. Uh, <laughs> Fifth element is that what you said? Working, working yeah. Construction worker. I don't know. Fuck. Back her up, boys. We got a lot of work to do today. This is the Tonka version of the Art Trooper. <laughs> Tonka. The Tonka. <laughs> wow. Hell yeah! It looks cool. Pretty standard uh, a buck on this clone trooper, but the color scheme right is the whole special thing. It's an exclusive hot toy, so it's exclusive to the website. Super come in. It has every, uh, the bazooka, yeah. No, that's a rifle. Uh, so, yo, at first I thought I thought his chest piece was hand, like Justin Timberlake hands going across his breast. His bosom. Okay, so that joke was off. Okay, all right, guys, I'll go fuck myself now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Two fifty-five, April twenty-twenty. It feels lonely. <laughs> so there you go. Hot Toys Art Trooper can have enough clone troopers. Get it. Pure it. This oh, is uh, here. Yeah. Dell, there's two versions. There's a regular one for 275 That's or sorry, sorry, 755 and the premium format figure for $1, okay. 50. Uh so let's take a look. To yeah. Boom. That's nice false right. cool. Now the, the actual sizes of the left and right, those are fourth scale figures. So you get an actual fourth scale of Colossus and Wolverine at the same time, which is really dope. You could you could collect that's that's like a quarter of your X-Men there, your favorite X-Men, like right there, dude. If you know. With the comic book background, it's sick, dude. Yeah, you, you, the comic book background is sick, but this is the only time I will say that I would not get the comic book background because this will go with my four other statues up there, you know, uh seamlessly. It's bigger than the combo background version. Yeah. So I would get the one without the comic book. If I didn't have any of these statues, I would get the comic book. But now that I do, I can actually fit this with my actual <laughs> That makes sense. Yeah, I do. The bigger one's better. It's sick, dude. It's really cool. A fastball special. Mm -hmm. And right for the price, the dude, that price point, what is it? Uh, so it's basically 500 bucks a statue. Yeah, dude, it, it it works. It it, it works. It's worth you it. You get a smaller version with a comic book background for seven fifty five. Yeah, this is more. This is more standalone. Like if you don't even have any, you know, X Men statues, but you kind of want to start. You want to. You could comic book one's fine, but this one, this is really cool. It's bigger and it goes with my other one. So, Classic yeah. Colossus and Wolverine. So yeah. See what what you do is you buy the comic book where they do the fastball special, and then you put that in the background. There you go. That's that's the pure collector way. That's to what do we it. like to call presentation. Yeah, the pure collector way. Dude, there's so many YouTubers with reviewing this. Hundred percent. Yeah, I can imagine. I like this though. Uh, this will definitely be part of my list if I was going to get some. This would be part of it actually. It is it um, this year. 
July. Oh, okay. I think, this is, I think this year is the beginning of the of the ramp ramp up to X Men motion picture, right? Because this year they're going to start with all you see a bunch of more merchandise out there. That's what awesome. the cartoon will is going to lead up to that film that comes out with probably three four years from now. Because you start, you'll start, start seeing a lot more X Men shit. I still got my uh, fourth scale Colossus. I still got Wolverine, Cable. So I still got Wolverine. You got for free? Oh, the Wolverine. Yeah, the one I got for free you from Comic Con. <laughs> that shit was dope, dude. Hell yeah. Got it for That's free. Like, Send it to a Comic Con, right? Yep. Got it for Yee! free. Three ninety nine. You're like, <laughs> I know, dude. So I'm happy. Or three. All right. You got the pop culture shock release with a one ten scale uh, Street Fighter line with a two patch. Oh, cool. Anjip and Jen for two fifty. Uh, this December twenty. These are so awesome. If you, you don't want to spend the big dollars on their one third scale Street Fighter stuff, you get these smaller scale ones. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I love the Sanji. Sanji's just badass. Zang- Zang- yeah, Zangief is one of those classic characters, dude. Always Street Fighter. Zangief, not bad guy, but good guy. Yeah, exactly. Zangief. Yeah, so 250 in summer 2024. There's a bunch of these now. Um, yeah, they're not down here now. But there's a yeah, there's a ton of these fucking two packs now. There's like the fifth or sixth one already. Yeah, because yeah. they did uh Chen Li and uh Fei Long. They're a bunch. Yeah, yeah. Ryu. Yeah. All right, let's move on to Pop Culture Socks one third scale statue of Marcus. This is from Underworld 2 Evolution. Uh 1555, January 2025. I this character though, man. It's like Underworld. So I, remember, I watched that film. I don't remember his ass, but I remember watching it. I'm <laughs> so scared of that name. Like, that name. Like you're gonna stuck out, dude. That's like that's kind of weird. But if you like vampires, flying vampires, this is for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's a huge brilliant. figure. That's brilliant. I mean, if you're into like a monster collecting, you know, like I guess this will be up your alley. But in the movie, I barely remember this dude. Why did they even pull him up in the first place? Yeah, I remember the wolves or the main lady, right? Lichen, but, the lichens. Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen fifty-five is a big ass one, one third scale. So this is massive, bro. Yeah. 20. So like I said, if you're like a monster collector, I could see you going down this route. But like the movie, I barely remember this dude. Who else yeah, remembers right. this dude? Tip to tip of the wings, thirty-two inches. So this is a big. Oof. Yeah. Uh, Pretty cool. Uh, but it's kind of like you know, like left field. Like they just pick this character and like, okay. We don't know the materials or the weight on it. Probably resin. This is more for like monster collectors, I think. But pretty cool though. Yeah, it doesn't look badass no matter what. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, from Star oh, Ace wow. Boys, this is the statue of Egon Spiller from Ghostbusters for two thirty-five, September twenty twenty-four. We got Spangler. That's cool. It's not a massive statue, but it's a nice little statue. Yeah, it's a little over than um. The GI Joe six inch, well eight inch, but yeah. Yeah, so it's basically like almost bigger than Storm Collectibles figure action figures. Yeah, exactly. I love the base with the marshmallow under the Ghostbuster sign. Yep, that's pretty cool. Is this the first time they're showing the the first team member of this of this type? Uh well, there's that. There's Egon on Spangler for two thirty five, two thirty twenty twenty four, and there's also Ray. Stanley there we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he looks like he got a little perm to his hair. <laughs> yeah, back in the day. Yeah. Oh, so they um, all have the marshmallow base. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's going to be standard. So there's two more to go, right? <laughs> Obviously, uh, Peter Vickman and uh, uh, what's... Uh, right? Subject to final approval. Oof, they're still under legal. Okay. Not Egon. Uh, Winston. 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 Well, we're working for Bakeman, man. The new, one, new movie just came out this weekend, right? Yeah, it just came out. The reviews are yeah. warm. Warm. It's Ghostbusters. I mean, I don't care. I'll watch it. Yeah, it's not like yeah. It's, it's I enjoy the first one and the reviews on that one are not that great. I I like the second one too. That one got bad reviews, and I like yeah. it. It's just, it's just supposed to be stupid fun. Yeah, man. It's not like a life changing movie, dude, or whatever. Uh, none of those movies were life changing movies. Yeah, exactly. They're just good. Yeah, just fun. for kids, really. Yeah, That's about it. They change the kids' lives, but not the adults. <laughs> well, I mean, some of those jokes are adult do- jokes, so. Yeah, that's why it gets better the older you get. All right. You know this I love. Damn. You're gonna JD. Get this. This, <laughs> JD. 
This is a one ten scale too, but it's a massive fucking statue for one ten scale. This is from uh, Iron Studios, the Masters of the One Ten Scale. It's a thirty year anniversary sideshow exclusive. Our Iron Studios exclusive for four hundred and five bucks, which is the expensive side of the One Ten Scale. Let's take a look at some of his images. All right, looks great, right? You can't really tell too much, but uh, it's a great diorama, Dragon on Wolverine. Beautiful paints, beautiful sculpting. So I'm guessing he's in the mansion, right? He's busting up the mansion. It sure looks like he's going up the stairs. Yep. And but here's some scale for you. So there's Harry okay. Arps uh, giving you some scale. It's for That's one ten. Big. It's a nice scale, dude. Yeah, it's big for one ten. Yeah. yeah at nice Harry scale. Arms. You get it, Rob? Because I have uh, several Juggernaut statues. One from Kudabakia, another one from Diamond, and they're supposedly bigger than one ten. This guy's same size, so wow. I don't know. Yeah. How uh, tall is this? It is like close to twenty inch. Uh, this is now the height is eleven point six inches. What? Uh, the width Wait, is covering the whole guy's torso. Fourteen point so seven. The width is big, yeah, and the depth is eight point four. So and the and the weight is about ten pounds. So it's a little heavy. Uh, I'm tempted a hundred percent because I missed. I don't have. I didn't get the uh, what's the sideshow one, the big one. It was like a like a whole like a whole base presentation. It was called the you know, no, but it's not. It wasn't a diorama. What's it called? The other one, Charlie. Uh, the last one, the last juggernaut they came was just a regular sideshow one, wasn't it? Got like you. What I had a the building. What's going on? Some guy Ford. Good to see you, brother. Good to see. I'm only sexy in the morning, baby. Uh, um, I'm shit. You know, uh, I did a work. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I didn't do it dead justice. Let me see what's in the bottom here. It pulls up. No, it doesn't. But uh, yeah, the other one I, I missed out was uh, maybe. Ah, but I'll search it. I don't know, man. I would I would probably pick it up, dude. Since you're a, since you're a Juggernaut fan. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. cool. Oh, you mean Juggernaut? Yeah, the name is weird. Uh, it doesn't come up anymore. Shit. Okay, so it's gone. It's gone. I got the Sentinel number three though. I got him. I got the um, juggernaut through that. He's right there, actually. He's right Oop. there. Yeah, that's a, a smaller scale German. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Uh, June twenty two. It's coming out pretty soon, though. I can't do it soon. That's too Yo, soon. Big for me. Rob, you got to put that on a shirt. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's always the fact. Uh, so there you go. Get it if you want it. We got a. Song Anime man. characters is from Chainsaw Man. This is Aki Hayakawa from Three Zero. He does this. He does something. That yeah, works. dude. He's he's uh he ha- uh, summons a wolf that kills the spirits. Oh, so dope. Yeah, yeah, he does something in the wolf. Yeah, he's dope. Yeah, right there. Yeah, he's a dope ass character. Yeah, sick. They're they're coming back. Action figure, Three Zero. Three Zero, man. They they've been killing it, dude. I, I do. It, I do oh, one six scale transformers. The Mega I've Man. I've heard of that Mega Man from Big Bad Toy Store. The Mega Man that you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Did you get Did you get the one with the face? The face and also the E capsule. Okay, e. so you got the limited one. That was yeah. the one I was trying to get. Me and Big Rob, we slept on it. I because I ordered the other one. The, the, oh, okay, okay. E-can. That one's limited. It's I think it's limited to a hundred pieces. That so one's you, sick. You got a good pickup, brother. I oh, love the it. Head, head? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So they go 150. Let's move on. Uh, this is uh, this isn't a big character from Star Trek The Next Generation, but this is one of the better done uh, action figures for this particular one. This is from EOX6. Security, security officer, figure. Right? Huh? She's a security officer, right? Uh, she becomes later on. No, she's actually initially well, like uh, one of the uh, navigators. Um, and she was like the basically the uh, student to Riker. She I vaguely remember her. Especially she, she, she she came in like season three or some show yeah. like that. Uh, season four maybe. She was from a she's like a she was like a bad like, she was basically like a like a goth teenager, always rebelling, always talking back. Oh, like, teenager. <laughs> so uh, two hundred bucks, but the um, the actual kind of the sculpting, the the the, the clothing. The manufacturing of this actually is one of the better ones for me. I think the base sculpt is really well done. That's all right. 
yeah so for for the actress they they represent her well it's pretty good accessories it's a pretty cool one it's a deep cut character you gotta be a real definitely a fan of the next generation uh which i am but i don't think these guys they just don't make it into my bubble i'd love to have them but no if only money was unlimited yes. money is a little that would have had all of them already so we all were bucks <laughs> And they're not expensive for one six scale, so these are on the cheaper side. But I tell you one thing, they went up in price though, because they used to be like one seventy five, now they're two hundred. Yeah. yeah, true that. Quality is getting better and better. All right, let's move on to Prime One Studios again. This is a quarter scale statue, limited to three hundred and fifty pieces. This is the Batman Whoa. bonus version for nine hundred and sixty dollars, January twenty twenty six. Blackest Night Batman. Mm hmm. Uh, swap over head part with the black goo coming out of his fucking mouth. Ugh. Uh, yeah. Looks cool as hell. Ew, right. look at that. That's crazy. Is there a ring in this vomit? Brightest day, blackest night, or blackest night, brightest day. Probably the greatest Green Lantern art ever. Ever. Get the omnibus. I didn't even want to get the omnibus for that eventually one of these days. Parallax story is good too. I was buying that whole run when it was coming out. I think I I didn't collect the whole run because I kind of dropped out. I don't think because I what was I doing? Oh, well, I don't know. I was probably going to San Diego State. I think at that point, but um, now there's a Bruce Wayne thing. Yeah, I but I got some of those early books, some of the more rare books. So and they'll be on sale at near mid Sundays in June. <laughs> no, I think I'm keeping those. I like I like them too much. Oh, I thought the I thought you had him in your box one time. The blackest day, no the blackest night stuff. Yeah, no, I kept I. Well, maybe I, I got rid of some. I think I I kept the the one with all the first appearances. That's for sure. Nice. With all the colors, first 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 appearance, whatever. Yep, all the color rings. Yeah. So this is cool ass statue, dude. So if you learn to this character. Likes the zombies, you like Batman. This is up your alley. Prime One Studios, like I said, the second to none. Uh, check them out. Nine sixty. Okay. Mm -hmm. More Batman for you. From this is from Sideshow Collectibles. This is Batman versus the jo Joker. Thir uh, internal enemies, one thousand and fifty for the exclusive, and same price for the Whoa. for the uh, collector's edition. Uh, this is cool, dude. The size is perfect. Yeah, it's a badass statue. That's good, dude. That's it's a really little, good. This is the bonus right here. Damn. There, this picture is great. It gives you a great representation. Look of at this. that. So if you're a, a Batman fan and you wanted to start somewhere, this would be a perfect way to start because you got the two of the greatest, you know, good versus bad right here, dude. This is really cool. And plus, there's a lot of detail in there. Look at that. Everything. Every little detail. Very dynamic, dude. Worth the price, I think, by far. Really dope. Look at that. I bet the product shots on this will be so fun to take when you buy this and you take pictures, maybe do a certain lighting. Dude, this is so cool. Do stuff like this. You can look at that. The switch outs. Yo, you guys. Uh, I know this just comes out of bad time that I'm saying this, but... Uh... If you guys, we were just talking about that Mega Man. It's on Big Bad Toy Store. I just got an email with the head, the limited head. So if you're See? Damn, well, brother. Toy Jesus made it happen, so I just put the order right now. <laughs> you, you went to go look, huh? Good thing you did. Yeah. Dude, thing you dude did. I, well, no, I checked my email right now, and it, gave, it sent me an oh, email. Cool. So I'm going to cancel the first one. I see it. I see it. Yep. Score. You going to get it? I got it. I'm doing it right, right, right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, cancel the original one I bought. Nice. Not only do we have a toy show, we buy toys on the toy show. Yeah, that's dude. the way you have to do it, man. If you're not fast enough, if you're not first, you're last, homeboy. Maybe TS is easy too because all, all my information is already in there, so I just did, did, did. Boop. Yep, it's been pre-ordered and pre-ordered. I already got it. I just got it. Good, good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> that's it, man. That's the good stuff. That's that good, good, you know. The goo goo. Yeah, because we both me and Steve looked at each other. We missed it, bro. <laughs> Before. Yeah, dude, we totally missed it. I was like, damn it. So I actually got two because uh, 
uh, I bought this one right now. And I forgot I was looking at Big Bad Toy Store to cancel the 3-0, but I pre-ordered the 3-0 through 3-0. So I'll just sell that, the second one, and keep the one with the Mega Man. Oh, man. There you go, dude. Mm, can you feel that? So, I might keep both. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Uh, a thousand. This is a dude. This is a. I, this is. I don't have any Batman statues. I would love to have this shit. Uh, January twenty twenty five. I got about a year to think about this. So. This is a. Actually, oh no no! Uh, oh, sorry. Part, part of the sorry. Is a sorry sorry sorry. The exclusive is limited time release. Eight days, twenty hours. So you got eight days to pre-order the exclusive. The this regular is our, one is not. I think this is the a chip to Zadar from from the chip to Zadarsky run, because I can remember this drawing. Uh, let's take a look vividly. All right, details here. Do, do, do. Artist: uh, Martin Daniel Horn, Cloudy Abraham, Bertrand. Sorry, show the development design team. Well, they don't give any credit to Chip Zadarsky. It's polystone. It's a. a oh, it's polystone. It's, yeah, it's tall. It's flat, thirty-two inches. How, how, wait, how heavy is how, how heavy is it? We don't know. We don't. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> dick! What a dick! Just vicious, right? I'm <laughs> guessing it's like at least. Be be careful before it's... Twin Jesus blasts you with some fucking l- thunder you know, lightning. You know I what, get, man? Fucking locusts in my house. <laughs> I <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> they come. They're coming this year. The cicadas, man. Oh, the cicadas. Ooh. Those, those suckers are, are nasty. nothing to play with. My, my cousin in Omaha, she she was walking by and she goes, oh my God, they were like buzzing right through her. She was like running. Bro, it's like face. a whole like cloud of them. They're coming from the north, right? You. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's true. They're all co- no, they're, well, they were it's like. In the they're, Midwest. They're, yeah, they dug under the ground. They, all the babies are in there and then they, they, keep, they come, they, they give birth. They, it's they this year. Up. Yeah. yeah, this year, right? And they come out of the fucking ground and just it's like wow. every every seventeen years or seven years yeah. or some shit like that. Yeah, they're so loud. Corn, they're loud. So corn might be expensive this year because they're going to be corn. It sounds like buzzing when when they're coming from far away. I'm telling you, I've been in the middle of it, and I'm, bro. You just run into your car. <laughs> That's all you can do. Uh, yeah, it's a right. bit. Big ass statue. I don't think it's Chip Tardesky. Maybe they got the inspiration from there, but no, it's just an original art from uh, Tysho Collectibles. Okay, right. it's really cool though. It's yeah, good. Oh, really? It's dope. Dope. Fucking bro, I can't wait to see. They're gonna have this at San Diego Comic Con, hundred percent. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Especially Batman and Joker. Yeah, for sure. Take pictures sure. of it, please. I want to see this in person. I mean, they cool. made me my lineup. Then. All right, no doubt. Uh, okay, we're done with SciShow.com. We'll go to ToyArc.com. We gave these articles from ToyArc.com. Check out their website. This is uh, two uh, McFarlane releases. This is the Music Maniacs Wave 1 out of the Osborne and Alice Cooper. A great start. Uh, let's take a look at some of these images real quick. This is a, kind of a evil versions of these rock gods. Alice Cooper. Cool packaging. You know, it, with the McFarlane says more statue format. Not, not much of an action figure. It does have my articulation, but not very minor. Probably just like eight points. He's sitting uh, there all stoic. The the card is cool though. Right, the cool. Cool. The card is cool. Lousy. Rage and Cage and Comics is in the building, coming right down from the Rage in with his beignets and his Transformer toys. What up, buddy? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Ozzy with his great bolo hat and um, with bat wings. He should have the bat in hand. He snap. Oh, like being bitten into. Well, he is the bat in this one. That's true. Oh. He is. That's cool. Uh, twenty five ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. I'm sorry. May twenty twenty four release. All of your major retailers will have these guys. When it comes to distribution, McFarlane, I applaud him. He has the best distribution, bar none, in the game. He is everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, he is doing big things. He got connections, man. Because he's been there forever. Yeah. Uh, they got a Diamond Data Dump here. Diamond Data Dump. They dropped a bunch of stuff. Let's take a look. Uh, I'll read off the shit real quick. So then we'll show the images. House of Dragon Gallery Demon PVC Statue, 80 bucks, December 2025. Marvel Select Comic. 
War Machine action figure, which is those uh, those select ones. Uh, twenty nine ninety nine, December twenty twenty five, twenty twenty four. Marvel Weapon Hulk Premier Collection statue is a statue. This is probably uh, this is a resin. Two hundred fifty bucks, December twenty fifth of this year. Marvel Spider Man animated series Daredevil mini bus, uh, also December twenty fifth of this year, ninety bucks. John Wick Legends three D Chapter two, John Wick scale bus, two hundred dollars. Also Christmas of this year, Star Wars Milestones Last Jedi Luke Skywalker statue, also Christmas, two fifty. Star Wars Book of Boba Fett unhelmeted bust, same date, one hundred and thirty. Uh, Star Wars Drippy McCool Jumbo figure, who the hell is Drippy McCool? Uh, Never heard of it. Eighty bucks, and finally AEW Series Two Mini Mates box set, same day Christmas, twenty nine nine nine. All right, let's. Here's the mini mates. That's quite a lot of mini mates, dude. A lot of Marvel mini mates back today. Here's the House of Dragon statue. Looks pretty cool. Or looks the sword. That's bigger, right? I believe. Yeah, it looks good. Pretty this cool. Is... Oh, that's when he did the, the fight with the horse and the lance, huh? When he lost and he got oh, yeah, and he wanted off. to fight the other dude. Yeah, I remember that. I remember the scene. Here's the big bust for John Wick. This is a bigger size bust. I have no idea why why you would buy this, but unless you're like yeah, unless you were an assassin, yeah. you got inspiration, <laughs> or you love Keanu Reeves. Yeah, so girls, you make house session, make house session with Keanu. Uh, <laughs> well, almost like War Machine. That's cool. More comic mm-hmm. book like ish. Yeah. All right. Uh, animation uh, Daredevil. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like the Good. twirl. The Black Widow Marvel Studios bust, bigger bust version. This yeah. is the gentle giant type. Yeah. Yeah. Here's yeah. the PVC. Here's not PVC. Here's the resin statue for the uh, Weapon X. Weapon, Weapon H. H. Or Weapon, Weapon H. H. I'm sorry. Yeah. Weapon H. Oh. This, this looks crazy. There's a better picture. Here's the bigger bust of the bubble head on, on Helmet. That's pretty good. Yeah. This is a better. Oh, this is the fucking. I was like, Who's, That's who's the Cantina Droopy? singers, man. The Cantina singers. <laughs> Dude, what was the same letter say his name was? Droopy something, right? Droopy cool. <laughs> something like that. Yo, I don't even want to say it, but I'm yep. thinking it. And I'm thinking it so well. And I'm. <laughs> well, you're just looking at him, and that's all you're going to get. Here's the Luke statue. All right. <laughs> And that's it. Uh, what was, what was oh, oh, Droopy McCool, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god, it is <laughs> Droopy McCool. <laughs> Look at this guy, he said a real <laughs> skin food, holy <laughs> hell. Uh, <laughs> a live, a living I'm thinking skin that, food, but bro. I'm thinking something else. <laughs> it's basically a, a, a humanized mole animal, right? Like a mole? Sure. Humanized foreskin, we are saying. Yeah, because it has no I eyes. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's, it's what moles look like. The head yeah, it's like a mole. It's blind too, so it's like a molish yeah. type of. Yeah, it's like a human body. It's crazy, but <laughs> that's, good. that's a good one, bro. That's a good one. Yeah, the designer of Star Wars in 1982 was on drugs when he designed that guy. All of yeah. them were. All right, that diamond dab dunk. Uh, this guy's exclusive to the McFarlane website. This is an armor Batman from Kingdom Come, but the patina edition exclusive. I'm not sure it's still there. Looking at you, uh, Jace. Let's click on it. It's still there. So these is it's pretty cool packaging with the whole Matina vibe. This is the Batman from Kingdom Come, the older Bruce Wayne. Uh love the Matina paint on it. It looks really good. Yeah, those details. Those yeah, it looks like rusted uh copper. Mm-hmm. With yeah, a touch of like, green in it. That, that yeah, patina. I like that. That's good detail, actually. It's pretty cool detail. The card, nice gold, gold copper looking card. Yeah, if you're uh, a Batman fan, this might be right up your alley. Or a Kingdom yeah. Come fan, for that matter. Yeah, because the regular one sold out, dude. That shit's long gone. Yeah. The, I, the more, because I've been buying these, right? So the more I look into it, the competition's hot and heavy on McFarlane Batman, uh, DC figures. Yeah. I don't know why, but it is. The, the fan base is pretty aggressive. I think I could probably tell you why because they they haven't had anything since DC Essentials or DC Icons, um, 
so DC fans are chomping at the bit. And when you really think about it, like these are affordable. They don't break the bank. They're not imports. Like, cause you know, Medicom Mafex did the hush line. They're doing, uh, you know, like uh, the death of Superman at this moment, you know, so. Those are limited and they're also, there's chases. Yeah. More variety. Yeah. So my client knows how to get you addicted hundred percent. Yeah. That old right. DC crack addict type of shit. Mm-hmm. Let's go to Tori Jizz on IG, uh, one of my favorite websites. He had the pictures up for the Ultra Beast release. This is uh, revealed this is- by Sega and Jack Jack Pacific Toys, is going to be the manufacturer for these. This is so cool, dude. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, unfortunately, these are going to be Walmart exclusive. Oh. So good luck <laughs> getting them online or find them in the store. Uh, yeah, we don't have such, cool. points. such yeah. a classic video game arcade, bro. Such a classic arcade game. Yeah, when you Love sent it. the gift for it, uh, Charlie, I was like, that's where he's from. Uh, how you saw that? The yeah, power was... up. Yeah, power I, got, up. I had the game on the Sega, uh, Matt, not the Sega Master System, not the Master, 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 System, yes. Master System version. Welcome to your doom. It's such a classic game, bro. Sweetest There's only five levels, four levels. I beat the game, but man, it's so cool playing two player. It's hectic. I love it, dude. Oh, right another here. classic. And they also dropped Hell Streets yeah. of Rage. Same thing. Well, no, this, this came out on the uh, Genesis Genesis mm-hmm. system, actually. Yep. This was very cool, too. This is a classic beat em up, man. One of the first beat em ups on there. I never really had, I didn't have a Genesis growing up. Uh, so I missed the whole Street of Rage wave. I was I was on Final Fight and Street Fight and all the other oh, shit. Oh well, you're in Final Fight. You're you yeah, you're there. You're, you're on there. Yeah, yeah. I got you're the Sega Genesis just so I could have the uh, Bloody Mortal Combat. Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah, dude. yeah. What, <laughs> That's the, uh, the only one, right? When they told you Super Nintendo, you had to enter a code in for the blood, oh, and you're like, you God, fucking liar. Dude. And it wasn't so, even that bloody. It, no, no, it wasn't. The even, there was no blood too. The Genesis had a code. It was A B A C A B B. That was the code to get the blood in the Genesis. Yeah, so Paul, with the Super Nintendo to get it bloody, you also had to get the, the Game Genie. I remember yeah, the I had the Game Genie for some I time. have the Game Genie still. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, but, dude. It was like those, those were like the mods back in the day. That's how you modded shit. It was the Game Genie. So the so the so the Genesis had the bloody version, but I always thought that the Super Nintendo had the better graphics and the better it sound. Did. It did. It did. Genesis had it was crappy graphics, but the Super Nintendo was almost spot on. Really good. Genesis yeah. was like the early arcade versions. <laughs> it's like that crappy, yeah, <laughs> oh, digital sure. shit. Same it way. was, dude. But it had, it had the the violence, and that's what yes. we all went for. It had the finishing moves. Hell yeah, dude! The fatalities. Yes. But if, if you're a fan of Street to Rage, go get it on your Switch. Street to Rage Four. Yeah, yeah. or yeah. just if you're an old school pirate, uh, you have it on your PC. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, dude. Nowadays, so, like, game preservation emulators. Because yeah. I know they got rid of a bunch of the emulators. I still oh, yeah. have mine. They're still I have my old my old shit on my old, old PC. But yeah. Uh, so awesome. Jack Pacific has a contract with Sega, and they're going to do a bunch of the Sega stuff. So you got two so far. Ball. Ball. Get the ball. Makes sense. They need Nintendo. So yeah, I actually, oh, yeah. have for someone who did not grow up with the oh, Genesis. Cool, yeah, have, part four is really good, actually. Very cool, man. I do have a complete and box Sega Genesis with the Sonic game in it. What? Hey, somebody that box. They didn't hey, want hey, it. Hey, Keep hey, it hey, preserved. Yeah, I have a complete and box with all the manuals, all the shit. The box is in pretty good shape. Because somebody didn't want it. Yeah. I'm like, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Know, right? Yeah. <laughs> of course you'll take it. Well, that's the original with the Sonic, right? With the little bubble of Sonic. Yep. Yeah, dude. It's fucking classic. I want to go to Big Rob's house and just sit there. <laughs> Don't don't let him big rob. He gonna open all your shit. <laughs> oh, his dead body. All big rob has to do is look, give me that look, and I'll be like, my bad. <laughs> con permiso, con permiso. Sh monster arts because I love minus one minus color. Uh, this is from <laughs> minus white the color. Version. Notice it. Black and white. The black and white version. This is from one the minus color. from Japan. Only in Japan right now. Uh, pre-orders are open now. Or, yeah, it's open now in Japan. So you want to import it, you can import it. Uh, it's $98 US. Uh, I 
always have uh, my Sega Genesis from childhood still hooked up and plays. I've wrecked JD in any fighting game. Just don't tell him. <laughs> challenge. <laughs> yeah, challenge. Accepted. It's a challenge. If there's anything about JD, man, that boy's competitive. We went to go to uh, the comic book store and play Street Fighter. And him and I were going back and forth with Kenny whooped my ass on the on the last match, dude. I was like, damn it, JD. It's too bad you can't play that online. Yeah. Good. I mean, if you... Uh, there you go. I have these just sitting here. Look at this big rub. Jeez. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you still got the box. Damn. Damn. Yeah, it's only got a few. They're, they, I got them complete in box back in the day on eBay. You, you didn't yeah. want to get those graded? Championship yeah. edition. That's, that's this one's hard to get. This one's really, really hard to get. Oh, yeah, Spider-Man. Oh, the yeah. Spider-Man so X-Men one? Find that yeah. one. Cool. That yeah, I remember really that. Cool. Consider a crappy game. For, for me, it's one of the greatest games ever. It's so fucking hard. Yeah, dude. dude go grade those. They're not sealed. They just completed. But I got them in nice oh. containers. They're not sealed, though. So? Uh, That's it, though. So they're cool. in nice little plastic containers I bought a while back. I was going to buy more, but I just ended up just buying three and forgot to move on. Yo, I, I, I don't want to buy this, but I do want to buy this. I'm going to be honest. It's, yeah. it's, probably, it's probably badass. It's one of the best Godzillas, dude. Oh, yeah. This looks sick. Mm. Do I buy it? Don't I buy it? Do I buy it? Don't I buy it? Yeah, those games are hard to find with the manuals and the advertisement with the warranties and all that shit. Mm -hmm. uh, it says Morningstar, Godzilla minus one, minus colored. Only in Japan. You can order it from the import websites. Uh, not in the U.S. Bird, yet. Bird is in the building. What he up, said, bird, what's, bird? Up, what's going on, man? You guys follow his channel, man. He tracks the market like you wouldn't believe. He drops some little gems in there. Yeah, follow I was his IG. Mm -hmm. He's dope. Good guy. Uh, let's move on to some Mesco. This is a one twelve cool. to Ghost Rider Hell Cycle Vengeance oh, edition. Oh, BB, yeah. This is a big, big bad toy store exclusive. Uh, for two hundred and fifty dollars, May of twenty twenty four, and available, available for pre order now. That's first appearance, Ghost Rider. Yeah, dude. this is good if you missed out on the original um, release because that thing yeah. sold out. The bike is dope, from what I understand or from what I hear. Charlie uh, has the first appearance. Yep, I do. Oh, you have, oh, so you bought this Mezco first figure? No, the no, book, the comic. Oh, the book. Okay, yeah, yeah, the you do have the book. Yeah, out of the first appearance. And plus, it, it uses the same colors. That's why I like it. It uses the same color as as uh, the cover. Very cool. Very cool touch. Damn, I, I, I've debated on this. I can't. I, I can't really do this. I really can't. But let's <laughs> go. I want it. It looks sick, dude. It looks really dope. Yeah, if I had room and I had a space with detail, it'd be nice to play with my book, right? The book and the toy next to each other. That'd be great. Hell yeah. On uh, detail, but two hundred fifty—that's pricey for Mesco. Presentation. All right, from uh, McFarlane, we got a Doomsday. It's like kind of a modern Doomsday, I believe. Very Predator head. Didn't realize right, how much dude. Predator he looks. Kryptonite Doomsday with all the Kryptonite growing out of his fucking body. I don't know. I'm not familiar with them too much, but there's some Doomsday. Doomsdays are always cool. Uh, it's a big. It's gonna be a big fig. Looks a little beefy and stagnant in some places. I don't know. I feel like. Um, there you Doomsday, go. Doomsday needs some love as far as like a dope figure. I would like to see Metacom make that. Well, do something Mattel, like uh, Maddie Toy Collector back in the day did San Diego Comic Con exclusives of the one with the whole suit and the one without the suit. Mm -hmm. I remember he was collecting the line. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, the San Diego Comic Con did a really good version of them. Those are probably expensive nowadays, but. That was a while ago. Huh? That's a while ago that they made that. Oh yeah, that must have been like 2013 or some shit. Like Damn. Yeah. Okay. But I remember. But is this this cool to go substitute for if you don't have a Doomsday? It's a cheap version, 30 bucks or 40 bucks. So it's it's these gonna be it's, it's a big scale. The, the big these are uh, usually really big, the bigger characters. So let's move on. Uh, this is from Beast Kingdom. This is Marvel Medieval Knight Venom. Available in seminars and BBTS for $176.99. First quarter of 2025. This is a big, chunky figure. <laughs> Damn. Damn, Beast Kingdom. 
doing things. Yeah, their shits are always nice and awesome. I haven't yet plunged into Beast Kingdom and grabbed one of their figures, but they're always tempting. I like how the sword is like Simba and Symbio too. The sword. It's all translucent, bro. I just realized. I love Doomsday, but I had to pass the head sculpt. I just couldn't do it. Not my. (laughs) Not my Doomsday. (laughs) Hashtag not my Doomsday. I agree with you, man. That's true. I I 100% agree with you. Uh, this is all translucent, bro. The hand, the sword, the head, the shoulder pads. It looks cool. I like the scarf. The scarf kind of is like the tongue in a way. Yeah, it's very cool. I'd like to see this up close and personal, like just yeah. In a probably, they might have it at San Diego. Take pictures for me, dude. It's a big, that's a big ass fucking action figure for sure. I'll be there in spirit, big boy, man. Oh yeah, you're not going. I forgot. Yeah, not this year, dude. Not no Steve this year at San Diego. Unless he makes a surprise. Right, I just come out of the back. You know, <laughs> I'm like, what are you guys waiting on? You're part of the con and shit. You come out. Welcome to Comic Con. <laughs> All doing the volunteer work. I would just go to Fifth Avenue, man. Walk around. Yeah, that's true. I could probably do that. We'll see. I haven't decided. All right. Uh, this is from Mondo. Uh, this is it's sold out actually. It's pretty. I think it's pretty awesome. If you're, I had, dude, I had this on VHS. This fucking movie. It is boring as fuck. To be honest, the film <laughs> yes. itself is super <laughs> boring. Godzilla and Son. I think that's what I call it. Uh, that's, that's an all-monster attack, but there is like multiple versions where these characters show up in the same film. I have the more boring. All-monsters attack is a cool one, but the other one was boring. Uh, 240 bucks. Well, these are awesome. They're well sculpted, well painted. They exactly how they look back in the 1960s. Let's take a look. Baby Godzilla, one of the most ridiculous characters in the history of characters. It looks like that frog beam. <laughs> the crying <laughs> frog beam. <laughs> yeah. He's sure did. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that one. Mm-hmm. This guy right there, the, I love the colors on him. Yeah, dude. He, if you know Godzilla lore, he's a bitch. He's a bully that always punks out when he, you, you stand up to him. So he's basically the bully of Monster Island. That's he's, hilarious. He's also redheaded, red hair. <laughs> <laughs> and he bullies baby Godzilla. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah, because they related to this. So this whole like human story plot and a it parallels the Monster Island story plot. It's a fat kid, Japanese kid, getting bullied by a bunch of other kids, and it's just basically he's Baby Godzilla and he fights off the bullies. It's a, it's a fucking ridiculous plot. <laughs> you know? I'll show them. But it's I'll show them all. It's so bad, it's funny. <laughs> kind of like the Star Wars Christmas special type of deal. No, oh, yeah, dude. That one you can only watch is on Rift Tracks. And if you get the Rift Tracks version, it is hilarious. The regular version will put you to sleep, bro. With the eggnog and Christmas, Christmas cookies. That is awesome. I kind of want this guy, though. Yeah. I Oh, I forgot. I do have... Do I? Or I might have sold him. I did have the SH figure arts of this guy. Oh, for oh, real? Yeah. yeah, it was from San Diego. Oh, shit. I, know, I still have it. Check it out. I might have it still. I forgot. He does carry my dad in the movie. <laughs> Pure I don't know if you guys said, but I saw the email this morning. Super Seven sent out this uh, email for the, a new Godzilla shirt, and it's that famous one when Godzilla goes flying fit, uh, legs first. <laughs> oh, they did a shirt about it. They did a shirt with that. Where, he, where he's Why like, you gotta dra- tell me that. Where he's like sl- uh, sliding on his tail and shit, right? <laughs> yeah. That part, dude. For like a mile, right? Buy that yeah, shirt. for the longest. I always see the dirt. Coming up from behind him. <laughs> oh, so the, the shirt, the, the way they did it, it's like a Nike swoosh under him. Oh, and it's him flying. You son of a gun. Now I, I got to buy that. it. <laughs> I saw that shit. I was like, oh my God, I completely did that t shirt. I might want to get that shirt, Doug. What color is it? Green? It's green, yeah. Okay. All right. I'll check That's it hilarious. out. I'll check that out. <laughs> Soft vinyl three pack. Uh, that, it, this is just brilliant, man. This is very. They probably didn't print a ton, that's why it sold out. But Godzilla fans, when it comes to vinyl, are ravenous. This is the main shit they collect is vinyl. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been going on for 40 years plus. Yeah, maybe like 50 years, honestly. Uh, the packaging is brilliant. I love the packaging art. Mondo is really good with the packaging. Yeah, dude. 
it's stuff that you keep around. That that should go on a shelf. Look at that, dude. dude. I would love to have a poster of that. Hundred percent, right? That's a Miami Vice Godzilla shit right there. <laughs> Where's the lines at? Yeah. So yeah, but it's sold out. You can't buy this anymore unless you they get lucky and find somewhere at a con or something. Maybe uh, at a yeah. con, you could probably find a. a All right, I, I was gonna stop there, and but let me let, let me test my the Lego website on my new laptop with the ad blocker. It works. No yeah, more ads. buddy. Rage and Cajun. This is right up your alley, brother. And you see right here, 30 ads got blocked already. Hell this has yeah, been yeah. Take that. So Lego Ideas, Greek Holiday, it's used 10,000 supporters. You want to go on a Greek Holiday for cheap? Hey. <laughs> Looks, there you go. Pretty simple. Centauri oh. Greece. But you can have my fat Greek wedding. <laughs> Greece is badass in the summer. Let go. All right. And also, Lego Ideas, Men in Black, Agent K's, Transformers, Red Car, achieved 10,000 supporters. All the POS. Form and everything. The Ford POS. Mm -hmm. Look at that bad boy. That's fine. Somebody fucking did this on their spare time. <laughs> Dude, in the innovation in lego the moving parts and everything like that it just that took cool. a while to do for sure it's, it's dope it's dope that's all, all these 10 these lego ideas eventually if the licensing is fine they do come to black box all right and uh what was that yeah that's it and one more so we got lego legos uh so sometimes this particular website has issues you can't click on shit. So i had to bring up this whole one particular page uh, there's a Dungeons and Dragons Mimic Dice Box. And it, oh, that's it, cool. It's a classic monster. Yeah. Pretty dope. Like pretty dope. It's a thing that disguises itself as a chest, but when you open it, it's pretty pretty attacking you. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. You know what? Hold on. Oh, yeah. I missed something. Sorry. I, there was something that I, I, I think I didn't miss. It. Yeah, I think you didn't scroll down all the way on one of them. Yeah. I think it was this that one. one. That yeah. one. Yeah, because this is the one I can't click on. Yeah. So yeah, this is the one that has like issues with the with the links. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's more. Yeah, done. Here you go. Lego's ideas. Oh, Dungeons and Dragons. Cool. Red Dragon Tale officially announced. This is a crazy fucking set, dude. Look at the beholder in the right. There's Jeez. a beholder right there. One with the eyes yeah. right there. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. That's sick, dude. Legendary monster. Cool. Yeah, okay. Good. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Super impressive. Yep. That big ass that. box on the shelf, you gotta pick it up. You're like, like telling somebody to hold it with you. 35999. God 359. damn. 359, dude. That's man, you know how many pre-orders I can get with that. Do I get that Conan static statue for that much? Dude? It's 3745 pieces. Oh yeah, no, okay. I'm buying a first ghost rider. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's uh, dope. That's really cool, but still. Okay, this is the other one I wanted to show you. This is the brick. Remember, a, a while back we were talking about like this contest they were having for designer. Mm -hmm. This is the Brickland Designer Program Series Four finalists revealed. These are the fin finalists. Medieval Seaside Market. That's cool. Uh, they got the Merchant Boat. That's pretty nice. intricate. Yes, yes. Right. Probably works too. Uh, Siege Encampment by Sleepless Night. All right. Medieval. And the Riverside Scholars, kind of a Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings vibe to it. Cottage look. Uh, let's go. The Wild West Train. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, Wild West. You could do a Back to the Future setup with this. Yes. Oh, yeah, can, actually. Yeah. And is that it on this page? Oh, they have a gelatin? Yeah. Gelatinous cube. Gelatinous yeah. cube. Yes. Uh, Thing. Yeah, it's just a review. Yep, that was it. And uh, stop sharing. That's it. Done. Pretty damn well. Right. Guys, uh, we made it. Ideas. Which one? Which which guys do you like the most? Which one do you want to pick up? I like the the Conan Static statue, and also that Batman and Joker do those, and also the the Wolverine and the what's it the Juggernaut. Uh, Basketball special. 
Oh, yeah, those, both of those. Those three things are sick, dude. Uh, Steven, Jeff? I'd have to go with the Ghost Rider, man. The Mezco Ghost Rider. Um, that was cool, too. Yeah, I missed out on, on the first pickup for that. So to kind of circle back around and get that would be cool. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Hmm. I don't think anything else. I, I think figure-wise, it's it's where I'm staying. Yeah, both Wolverine statues. Yeah. For sure. sure. Like, if you I could afford it, I'd buy both of them. The skin flute mole? No. Nope. <laughs> I do not want Droopy Mikul. <laughs> Dude. I've got Droopy my own Droopy Mikul. Like on your shoulder. <laughs> so that's the jumbo figure that comes with a vintage card? I kind of just wanted to see the card. I think I see the fucking name, Droopy McCool on there. Just so you can see the art of Droopy McCool on the, <laughs> on the card. <laughs> it's really uh, is a life, it's vintage card, so it's a life picture <laughs> from the film. Because he was on the band, right? So they have a picture of him. Oh, God. But just to see his name. I don't think they ever done an action figure of his ass. And not at least in the I've never heard of him. I never heard of him. never seen that name. It's just funny, dude. That's but he's in the band. I always noticed him. He's always been there. <laughs> he's in the background. I seen him in combo packs, but I never knew that was his fucking name until now. So Droopy McCool, dude. So I kind of just want to see the card. If it's a, it's a, that's the Diamond Gentle Giant release and shit. So we'll see, we'll see. So you, there were essentially three Wolverine statues, Jeff. There was the the comic book with the comic book background, then the the the, the quarter scale fastball special, and then there's the Wolverine with Juggernaut. Wait, isn't this isn't it just the same version, just with the comic book? No, no so the, bigger. The, the, the comic yeah, book the, the, bigger. Without the comic book was bigger, a lot bigger. Okay, but all, all three of them. <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, obviously the one with probably without the comic book because it's just the full out statue. But yep, you got it. Yeah, the Wolverine statues, that Batman and Joker statue. They're That's fucking out. sick, dude. Really cool stuff, man. Uh, and Jupiter McCool. That's what I want. <laughs> uh, who wants to close out? What do you guys want to close out? Who's closing us out? Oh uh, wait, we gotta we gotta get some uh sponsorships before yeah. we close out, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, before we close out, we want to go ahead and hit you with off the top with Nirvana 14 for 30 days of unlimited cover price at only 99 cents. Guys, this is a deal. It's a premium deal at that. And then once those 30 days go up, you could decide to subscribe continue this wonderful journey of comic book collecting the one we love right the hobby that we love then you're going to use uh team uh, teenage 10 to save you 10 percent off of our friend over at our friends at bird city they got exclusives galore so if you find one that catches your eye and you want to jump on then guess what teenage 10 will hook you up mm-hmm. then you got team nerd herd to save you 10 percent off of your per- first purchase with our friends at display geek our brother sean toy collector as well so don't forget all these codes will help you out for your purchases. All right. Who wants to close it out? Nobody? Okay. Uh, we don't have a disclaimer for this show, huh? Nah, man. Nah, <laughs> no we, we, I don't think we ever yeah. have a – don't blame us for buying your toys, all right? Yeah, no, <laughs> if, your wife, if your wife beats you up, don't blame us uh, yeah. so, or your husband, one or the other. Yeah. Um, if you want to do it right – be a toy collector for life. Oh, life. All right, y'all. Enjoy your weekend. And thank you guys for viewing. Catch the rewind and much love.